Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we are live then, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today we have a rather interesting guest who would like to uh, clear their name. We're going to be asking some yes. questions. We'd ask that chat behave themselves, as per usual. Yes, behave yourselves. No drama. Because any yes. drama gets dropped into this, I will leave. I'm not kidding. I will. You do have to understand. You do have to understand that trolls are probably going to pop up in chat. We can't guarantee that the chat won't be a little weird. We'll try to block them, keep them contained, you know. But just be prepared that might be a thing. Just try to focus yeah. on um, uh, the people on panel, um, Mr. Corbin. Exactly. We're here to defend you. Yeah. All right. I'm just saying. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just making sure everyone knows that I'm not gonna. I'm not going to entertain any drama or ideals to people because that's not who I am. It's not part of who I am. Of course, of course. We totally get that. Can I start with a pretty simple question real quick? Sure. What have you been up to lately? Mostly, I'm a gamer mostly, so I've been playing on my old 360 trying to, you know, keep myself occupied. Oh, oh you make it, correct? Yeah, I'm just a. Uh, I've been playing Fallout. I played a bit of my other 360 games that I have. Alrighty, so uh, one of the things that was uh, kind of brought up and asked about. So you believe that? Well, you are, as you say, you're part werewolf, vampire, and what else? Demon dragon. Yes, there's. There's literal proof that creatures like that exist in this world. All well, except I don't feed off of blood or nothing. I just feed off of like energy ones. I'm kind of like a psychic vampire who can feed off a of negative emotions and feelings in the air and put out, you know, positive energy. All right. So what are your paranormal beliefs exactly? What kind of stuff do you think is in this world? Well, for one... I know ghosts and spirits are here in this world, as well as aliens and other kinds of creatures. It's my job as a paranormal investigator to go out and basically get information and try to prove their existence. Have you gotten any uh, proof of the paranormal? Mm, I still, I'm still waiting on like, I'm still waiting on my name being cleared before I go out and do anything like that. You know. And that's what yeah. we're here for. Yes, that yeah. that's understandable. Exactly. So, do you advertise this business? What are what's your let's say uh, someone were to call you and say that hey, I have a very violent spirit in my house. I need your help right away. What would be your protocol? Well, for that? well, how me and my best friend CJ, what me and my best friend CJ did is we're planning on making business cards and whatnot, but we've advertised ourselves as three in one paranormal control. We take care of all your paranormal needs, meaning. We go out, we investigate, we try to cleanse places like that. It, oh. So yeah. what would you do if you perhaps ran into something a little bigger and more physical, something like a Bigfoot? Do you believe Bigfoot exists, or is that kind of one of those things where it's up in the air? Yeah, it's totally it's totally true that it's been, you know, known to exist, you know. Those creatures are known to exist, but have very little proof. But for me, I believe that those creatures exist and I can easily find out what's going on and try to figure out whether those creatures mean good or evil, you know, depending on, depending on the personage and the stories, you know? All right. So like per se, if someone had infestation on their farm or in their, in the woods, what would you do? What do you think your protocol for something that big and violent would possibly be? Especially if it, if it has a, you know, a history of violence against them. So, how I see these creatures is if they're violent enough to attack farms and small cities, then and only then will it become a S-class ranking. We rank the creature depending on their danger level. We, we give them ranking levels like S, T, you know, all that. Okay, so how, how does this ranking system work exactly? Would you care to explain, like, what might be in those different categories? Um... The ranking category depends on the danger level, such as an A rank monster has a low, like, an A class creature 
has a low ranking in danger level and is more subtle and more, you know, known to not interact with humans as often and not be as violent. As S class, all the way up in S class, they are very dangerous, which could cause an XK end of the world scenario. I gotcha. Do you think, uh, like, your uh, werewolf and uh, like vampire help like find these creatures and stuff? Like, help your abilities? Yeah, it's, sense it's my ability to sense their okay. presence. Okay. Gotcha. But to be honest with you, some creatures don't give off like energy ones. They, so I can't really sense. There are some creatures out there, some paranormal creatures that myself, I cannot sense their energy. Uh, like what? Wow. Like yeah. there are certain, there are certain creatures like aliens that I can sense, but there are certain alien types that I cannot sense. Like? Like they're, like, uh, you know how in Dragon Ball they have that key sense where they can sense people with high key levels and whatnot? Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, that's sort of what I can do. I'll accept. There are certain classifications. That's right. I can sense key levels, but to a certain extent. All right, let's, uh... So, are you like a? Do you believe in like the practitioner of uh, witchcraft, anything like that? I used to be a necromancer when I was a kid. I used to be a necromancer slash thief, but I gave up on those ambitions because all they did was cause problems. Were you ever able? <clears throat> were you ever able to reanimate anything? Only a couple times. Oh, um, could you explain what they were? I don't really remember. It's been a while, so I don't really remember to give you the honest truth. So you believe in, like, signs and symbols of things that are bad, like... Signs, you know, symbols, certain deities. Yes, I do believe that those exist in our world. Have you ever heard of the, uh, the rule of how many crows appear to you make something happen? That kind of tells you the future, how many crows you see in a day? It it depends on what so it depends on your perspective really. Like certain like events will happen to where you can tell if something bad's gonna happen or if something good's gonna happen. When my yeah, mom was passing away, when my mom was gonna pass away, I saw a murder of crows in the air. And in my head, I'm I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, and all of a sudden it came into my mind and I said, Huh, that can't be good. When I got to the hospital, I found out my mom was gonna die. Right, right. Um, so what's your what's your dream job? What would be your dream setup for this brand new ghost hunting group? And also, what are the ethics of hunting ghosts, considering, you know, if you're a spiritual being yourself, what would be the ethics revolving around that? Mr. Ranger, well, Mr. Cal Ranger, may I ask our, my client a question? It's really imperative to the case here. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Juniper, uh, uh, can you identify this ghost? Um, uh, Can you identify this ghost? Give me a sec. Uh, that looks like a Death Skull from Pokemon. It's a ghost type Pokemon. I would like to state that my client has not lied so far that he is indeed a ghost expert. So, go go ahead with your uh, question, Mr. Cow Ranger. Yeah, so... Uh what exactly is the ethics of hunting these ghosts, considering you yourself are a supernatural being? Well, the ethics of hunting such creatures is to... Well, let's just say hunting these creatures down, these paranormal beings, isn't an easy job. It isn't an easy feat. But if you are able to manage to, you know, catch one and actually know what's going on, you had to find their fatal verse in any sacred text, be it from the Bible, Book of Mormon, whatever. You find the fatal verse sacred and you text. can put them to rest. What, right. about, what about an atheist ghost? One that doesn't have a belief like that. Well, that's a lot harder to think about. You know, it's harder to, you know, but this paranormal business is far beyond just ghost hunting, you know. 
the one me and CJ are putting together, it's far beyond just ghost hunting, you know. What else something is different. We go monster hunting, UFO chasing, you know, all that. That's why it's called three in one. How do you protect yourselves? Well, to protect oneself from a ghost from being possessed, you basically go into the into the uh, haunted area with no emotions. You detach yourself from your emotions. Mr. Ponell. How, how, um, would, how would you per se defend yourself against something like another werewolf? Like, has that been a problem for you? Have you run into other werewolves? Is there like territorial disputes, etc.? Yeah, we've had territorial disputes, all except here in Idaho. This is my territory. It's the territory of a group called the Blood Moon Clan, which I serve under. I have more control out here because I'm one of their political figures. Meaning hmm. I'm the one settling land disputes and such, you know? Are there a lot of land disputes between these between these packs? Uh there have been a couple over the years, but they're not as like dangerous. They're more mundane. Um, I would like to remind the chat to please be respectful. This man is our guest here, and we should treat exactly. him as such. I don't know why the chat's saying he's not a ghost expert. Uh, Mr. Parnell, um, exhibit A here. May you identify this ghost? Give me a quick second, my me. That one. Hmm. I see too good. My eyes are not too good at this moment. That one is a Pokemon. It's a ghost type. I forget the name. But I know it's a ghost type Pokemon. Uh, what's All its right, name? but you know it's you definitely know. a ghost. You do to to set the example here. You do know it is a ghost, it's a dark right? Ghost. Yep, it's a now, ghost. This, can you identify this Pokemon? Is this a ghost, mm -hmm. or is it an imposter? This is Exhibit B. Let me look. Let me get a good look. Is at this that. truly um, a ghost? It looks like a Pikachu dressed in a costume. It's an imposter. It's not a real ghost. So I don't exactly. know why the chat is saying my client is not a ghost expert. He is he knows his stuff. Clearly he's I've been known. telling the truth so far. <laughs> he, he I know just with about everything other. about ghosts and spirits and monsters. I know just about everything. There just is about to know. everything. Just about, but not entirely everything. I just know what I've been, you know, investigating and I know most of the terms and whatnot. But truth be told, I don't really the alien stuff, on the other hand, truth be told, I know very little about because I because we haven't really had like I haven't really had any contact with literal aliens as of yet. So I can't know. So how did you figure out that you were a werewolf? Oh, uh, I've always known. I've always known. I just kept it suppressed because if I would have said anything back when I was a kid, people would have looked at me like I was fucking crazy. Mm. Well, how, what was it just like you just knew or did you have like some kind of signs or like symptoms? No, I just knew it was just some part of me knew, you know? So what is there? Do all werewolves just know? I, I'm genuinely curious. I'm, curious. I'm sorry if I'm asking in an aggressive manner. It's it's okay, I get it. But it depends on the personage and their, you know, affinity. You know, it just depends on it. Really, it's it just depends on... It's just a matter of uh, perspective, really. So... I, shit. My phone dropped. Okay. So, if there's other supernatural beings out there, are there other supernatural beings you've come into conflict with? <laughs> Not really. I mean, I don't really come into contact with very many, but I know that in other states, other, you know, other groups are controlling certain states. But wait, me... Wait, is this like a, they're in charge of the government type thing, or do you mean that there's just like kind of an underground society it, type beat that they're in control of? Yeah, it's something like that, you know? You All mentioned right. um, the Blood Moon group. Is that like a big group? Uh, it's an Idaho group. It's one that was made due to us overthrowing this group, calling themselves the Moonlight Council. Me and like a Sailor group Moon, of right? Overthrew them. Yeah, they were the the 
the uh, Moonlit, you know, council was so corrupt that me and a few of me and a few rebels overthrew them, you know? Good. And since then, we've been going by the Blood Moon clan because they were corrupt. Good. Gotcha. Oh. All right. Uh, oh, oh, we lost uh, We lost Jay there. Uh, yeah, we've lost some uh, James Franklin. He, so he's having problems. So I'm what, sorry. what percent of the population would you say is a werewolf? Are, or are about werewolves? 90% and about 90% with vampires. Werepires are about 5% because they're pretty rare. Wait, we're so, a rare so you, breed. Sorry, I'm just I'm clarifying this. So you mean like most um, all of the population is either vampire or werewolf? Something like that, yeah. It's like 90% with both halves, but only 5% with one... It's like 5% with being a, you know, a hybrid. Okay. There's about a 5% chance of so, hybridization. I'm, do people not know then? They're not, like, aware of this? Not really. Not a lot of humans are aware of it. No, I mean, like you said, like most of the population is like vampire and werewolf. So does that mean like a lot of people are a wa vampire werewolf and they just don't know? Like sleeper cells. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Something like that. Yeah, pretty how, much. Is there a way to one? activate it? No, like, actually, the there isn't. That. You just a lot of it depends on the person and what and what their affinity is and what their like percentage is, depending on them, you know. It depends on the moon, mostly like the like the phases of the moon. Depending on which one satisfies the other, then that's fine, you know? It depends on that, you know, it's and hybridization only happens five percent of the time. There are very few of us who are born. So being are there hybrid. are there other species of supernatural beings, or is this like is There's this like strictly an American thing that's vampire vampires and werewolves? There's other species besides vampires and werewolves. There's other species. So they're just kind of a minority thing. Something like that, yeah. They're, it's Mr. a minority. Shadow Blade. Mr. Shadowblade. So, it's can Shadow you identify Raven. This ghost? Can you identify this ghost? That one is from Pac-Man, if I remember correctly. That, that, that is correct. That is Blinky from Pac-Man. Pac Thank you. Yep. I, I rest my case on this. My client knows his supernatural stuff, Mr. Cal Ranger. It's very obvious. Uh, of course. Uh, he, he's clearly proven himself so far. I'm just, I'm very curious about this stuff. So what phase of the moon affects what species? So mm. say there's a crescent moon. A vampire will be more powerful during like a crescent moon. During a full moon, a, a werewolf is a lot more powerful. Okay, what about what about people that are uh, attracted to different moons beside that? Well, depending on the person and depending on their powers. Their powers awaken within them when they're about five or six. Okay. Uh, it doesn't activate until they're at least in their 20s. Once okay, again, so I would like to remind the chat to please be respectful. This is a formal event. So what about, Mr. Like, Parnell, like would you moon? have sex with Sailor Moon? On the subject of moons. Probably not because I don't really watch the anime much. Good call on that, Steve. That's a good call. That is a good answer. Very, very strong defense for me here, sir. Very strong. So, yeah. What about the uh, what about people that are attracted to things like new moons or something that's like a rare celestial event? Would they probably be a different species then? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, I was born under a, a fairly unique event. I was born under a new moon. What does that mean? The, is what your what kind of moon you're born under special? Yeah, it depends on what star symbol you're under too. That's also a uh, you know. So like your star sign, like Pisces, Gemini, that kind of thing. So, um, Mr. Shadow Raven, um, I would like to ask. I was born as a Scorpio under a new moon. What would I be? Hmm. The sound of your voice and knowing who you are, you sound more like a dragon to me. Like the huh. way you speak is dragon tone. Huh. Right. A black dragon by chance? Uh, depends on... It just depends, you know? I've always felt like a black dragon. Yeah, yeah um, a black dragon sounds good. Yeah. I mean, could you take a guess what Nick or I 
are, or is this, are you like advanced enough to do that? I, I don't know how far your research is, so I don't want to assume anything, of course. Uh, my research is varying on various, you know, subjects and subject matter. So I'm still like, I'm still a little bit behind on the times. So, I mean, could you take a guess? I mean, don't don't worry, um, don't worry, Mr. Corbin. This is a place of no judgment. You can yeah, no, I'm, I'm very a bunch of no mine as well. I recently exercised a demon out of a gentleman named Tibbs TV, uh, Barris, and I have it under lock and keep in a jar right now. So uh, there's no judgment yeah. here. Yeah, I've. I mean, I've experienced paranormal activity since I was like five or six. Mm. Mm. And right, so, uh, we're, what we're would just, you say, I'm, Nick? We're Nick or Wrangler curious. or me are? I, I, we're, we're honestly just curious of what you would think we are because we don't know a lot about this subject. I've done my well, research because I've taken this case, but you are the expert. Yeah, I mean, I am the expert, but on the other hand, a lot of the research materials that I had have been lost over time. I mean, understandable. What what if someone's a, a Leo born under a new moon? What what can you get from that? Well, if you're born under a new moon, you're possibly either an elf or a sprite. All right. Uh, I mean, someone who's <laughs> uh, someone who uh, enjoys gardening. I guess that would uh, make sense. Yeah, there. I was born under on, a new moon as well. So you're either an elf or a sprite, or another type of fae. Fair enough. So, uh, would you be alright if we asked you another question? Sure. What are you currently practicing, like religion-wise? You don't have to answer. It's a sensitive subject, of course. I grew up being LDS, so I don't really fall into the religious line of practice. I don't follow any so, religious practices. I'm just here to be here. You know? All right. All right. I know so, that if I know that God and Jesus exist, I already knew that. It's just I doubt the church even knows what's going on in this world, you know, because of all the stuff we've been through and all the shit we've been through as like a race of people. The church has had the biggest naysaying to like aliens and UFOs when they know damn well that all that exists. Oh, so like that secret, uh, that stuff that's under the the big church in Italy, where they they yeah. sit, they're said to keep like a UFO and a bunch of other shit. Yeah, Vatican. The Vatican was the one that did that. All right, that, that makes sense. So, uh, is there anything you'd like to let the chat know, possibly? Well, I mean, I've been studying UFOs, aliens, ghosts, monsters for like some, for like several years of my life, for the last 25 years of life I've lived. And to this day, I'm still working on putting together that paranormal company so that way me and CJ can go out into the field and do our research and whatnot. Uh, so how do you plan on doing this research? How are you going to fund it? We'll, we'll have donations and whatnot. We'll do, like, giveaways and whatnot to do, like, free investigations and whatnot. So that way people know that we're not just okay. going to do it and be phonies about it. We'll just do it straight up. We'll do, like, raffles or something. You know, get get the community involved, you know? So you how, how are you going to investigate it, though? Like, what what's your process? How are you going to get from point A to point B? Are you going to have, like, a setup or...? Something like that, yeah. We're gonna put together like a base camp and whatnot to really just zone in on an area, you know, put a base camp there and then have some of our investigators go in, check out like old buildings and whatnot, and then just set up base camp and just put cameras around, see what happens. Yeah, dude, it's getting hot in here. I'm sorry, y'all. It's getting hot in here. I gotta, I gotta open the window or something. I'm good. Nick, would you like to ask a question? I know I've been kind of dominating uh, the conversation. I'm just a bit I actually I had a question, but I, I I had forgotten. I just I just drew a blank. All right. So, are do you still believe some of the teachings of LDS? Like I know that in some sects of it, they believe in multiple wives. And I know yeah. you have one wife and the pony that's possessed. I 
she's not possessed. It's a part of my soul essence. Okay, sorry, I wasn't I wasn't super of, clear on the situation. Yeah, it's part I'm sorry of my soul about that. Essence. It's it's a soul essence thing. It's it's known as toning or tonal soul essence or whatever it's called from Skyrim, whatever they call it. So Skyrim Makes it it checked out to me. Do you do you think then that the guy who created uh, Skyrim, Todd Hauer, has some has some information about uh this kind of stuff then, this paranormal world? Do you mean, put that in the game? I mean he he's the one who created it, but before he, they could add more stuff to the game, he fucking quit and didn't say a word to anyone. And he is not talking whatsoever. Right. Do you think that maybe something happened right. supernaturally while he was making the game? Something like that may have happened. We don't really know because he ain't. Because Todd Ho Howard was the one who created the game. And Todd Howard isn't talking. All right. I mean, that's that's fair. Do you think other people in the gaming industry perhaps uh, know some stuff? Depends on who you ask. Oh, all right. So I'm I'm gonna ask it. So uh, have you heard of this guy called Mama Max? No. The uh, he's the guy that started his own like werewolf vampire cult thing. Would you consider him competition if most of this population is werewolves? Would you consider that his group that he was building would potentially be a threat to yours? Good I question. mean, the Blood Moon Clan, we aren't religious at all. We're just doing our own thing. We don't we don't follow no religion. We're yeah, but he's, he has a he had a pretty okay. large group for He had a pretty large group for a while back there, so I'm just wondering, would you consider them a threat? I hear that they're kind of spotted all over the country. So this was like a a fan write-in that I... It was a vampire cult. cult. They, they call themselves the Black House. Gotcha. Have you ever heard of a man named Camden Gerard Davis? That religious group you were talking about, those are the Black House. Gotcha. And if you were to set foot on the Blood Moon Clan's territory, they would spark a war. Mm, how bad would this war be, Mr. Corbin? It would be it would be worse than our first ever civil war here in the states. How many oh how many lives do you think would be lost? Millions, billions, trillions, billions, trillions. Oh my! So there would would there be like spiritual backlash then that would affect like creatures that aren't quite on our plane of existence? Exactly. There'll be a lot of backlash, and I don't think the other. I don't think the Black House organization wants that, you know? I don't know. They're they're pretty war hungry. They're pretty They're pretty vicious. I have a girlfriend who's a vampire who serves under them. Oh. A little spy on the network, I see. Mm. Yes, I'll recruit her as a spy to keep an eye on them for me. I'm sorry, I guess you know, Corbin, do you ever use body spray? To cover up the stink or anything. I smell so bad sometimes I have to use it. Do you ever use like Axe or anything like that, sir? Yeah, I just use, I have some old spice that I use to try and drive away the smell of wet wet skin and wet dog. Because if you're a vampire oh, yeah. werewolf, it smells wet dog and wet corpse. And that's so when you like fun. take a shower, yeah. you come out and you smell like a wet dog? I smell like a wet corpse of a dog. Wow. I sometimes use this stuff. I, I I believe this is extended Z. It's pretty deodorant. It works wonders. It's better than tactical soap. I don't care what anyone says. It's it's the best. Mm -hmm. Using dish soap in the hair can help drive away excess greens. Drive away. So, hygiene is important. So this is a slightly harder question. We're going to get into some of the more intense stuff, and I understand it might be a little overwhelming, but that's what you're loyal. That's what your friends are here for. You, yeah. Oh, so, um, right. We're here for you, Mr. Corbin. Don't worry. Have you been in contact with your family? I mean, my dad and my sisters and one of my brothers, but that's just about it. How are your relationships with them so far? I mean, dad and I are still on, like, we're still on a rocky ledge, but it's fine. Me and Dad are slowly getting to getting back to normal. You know, you know how it is. Yeah. How How is it yeah. going with your siblings? I know that there was some contention there for a while. 
Cheyenne and I aren't really on speaking terms right now. All right. All right. Uh, what about your brother? He'd like my cigarette, Barris. Uh, my brother Shane. He's Thank he may be locked up, but he's being an idiot and trying to get out on parole way earlier than he should. I'm just trying to save his ass by telling him to do his fucking time, and he's not doing shit. And I kept telling my ex-roommate's new roommate, who knows him, to tell Shane to do his fucking time and get it over with, but he's not doing shit. What's he in for? I think you already know. You've already seen the video where I explained everything about what he did to me and my little sister. I'm pretty sure you've all seen that video. I have not. Uh, no. I have. I can post another video like that later. I'll post another one on TikTok about it. Yeah, I mean, we'll take any information you're willing to give us. We just prefer to get it straight from the source. Best way to get it, right? I will put another TikTok video out there. I don't like talking about it because it's still pretty sore. It's a pretty, oh. it's a subject. Of course. Don't even worry about it. So, you say that you have people, uh, that harass you, who bully you. Do you have any kind of why? They why do they do this? They consider me a child predator when I'm not. I oh, was drunk at the time when all that happened. During 2023, I was drunk off my ass. I had no idea well, what, what happened. Was. I'm pretty sure that uh, that my lawyer and the uh, and the other two in this chat can actually give you more in light on the subject. I mean, uh, of course, Mr. Uh, Phoenix Wright, uh, what, what did your client do? He doesn't seem comfortable talking about it, so maybe you'd be our best bet. The trolls came at him, and they threw the book at him. They, 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 they messed with him for no reason. They, called, they didn't even have child porn on the computer or the Xbox. They came at him. And just took his book and they knocked him off the shelf and just, just knocked him down a peg. The, these new TikTok trolls, they're not like the old school. I was, a, I was an old school Christian troll and I became a paralegal. And I'm here to defend this poor boy. So anyone yeah. that wants something bad to happen to him, I we're ready to believe you, Corbin. Yeah. Uh, Corbin, is there a... Uh, is anyone else hearing that in the background of his uh, mic, or is that just me? Mr. Corbin, um, it seems like your mic might be a little um, echoey. Um, did you set it down somewhere? Yeah, it's just so next. Mr. Corbin? Oh, wait. Hello? Because it's plugged in, and if I... Oh, there we go. If uh, I have it in the hands while it's plugged in, it, the phone heats up a lot, so it'll. So I'm just setting it oh, down no. to cool down first. Of but yeah, this just... echo is probably due to my my uh my bathroom door being open with the light on because it got a little it was being a little dark. So uh, well, yeah, I just I thought I heard some someone talking to you in the background. That's all. It sounded uh, like there was a major echo. I'm afraid. Yeah, it sorry about that. It could have been Varus' powers. It could have been Varus, Vitruvius Varus. I set a demon loose tonight. I, yeah, no, I, I did set a demon loose. That, or it could be the one calling himself anonymous. He's anonymous. probably trying to. Oh, I thought this. I heard someone calling your name and just. Uh, I am just caught my attention. Activity. That's all. Guys, there's this group calling themselves Anonymous International. I should have just said that right off the bat. And they're in your they, house. No, they they've been. They're a group of cyber terrorists hacking into shit. Oh, yeah, I just. I've helped um, Mr. Corbin here with that. And I've been working but behind the scenes with the Chinese. We're going to get these people. Don't worry, Mr. Corbin. Yeah, I don't think they're, they're probably already not. here. They're probably already listening to this. So, they, by the way, who, who exactly? Yeah. No one actually explained what the thing was that got all these trolls on your back yet, though. They're uh, probably behind could this. Could someone please explain? They're, he's a pedophile. That's what they're saying. No, 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 but why did they say that? What brought yeah, those accusations into the light? Explain that. Why did they say that about you in the first place, sir? You mean anonymous uh, interaction? No, why did no, these pedophile the accusations come out? 
because I was drunk one night and was talking to some people I wasn't supposed to and nearly got myself arrested. Oh, my. Oh, I mean, what age were they? I don't really remember. Due to my drunkenness, my brain doesn't remember. I mean, understandable. sometimes, you know, that, that happens. Uh, what's, I mean, Court, how's your dating life been going? You said you have a, a couple of girlfriends then. How old are they? They're of age. Don't worry. All right. All right. 19 and 18 and whatnot, so that's okay. But yeah, these, uh, the group calling themselves Anonymous International have been harassing me 24-7. What have they been doing? They've been spreading lies about me on the internet, saying that I'm a child pornographer and whatnot. And there's this crooked cop out here in Idaho who's playing vigilante and has been hiring people trying to get arrested. Uh, explain more about this cop. That sounds like a pretty big deal. Well, yeah. I don't know the cop's name. I just know that he's been hiring people to try and take me down. To have my TikTok and whatnot renounced and finally be thrown in prison. This cop, whether he or she has a vendetta against me is out of the, is basically in the question. I don't know the cop's name, but I do know that they are trying their hardest to get me arrested because they consider me a child predator and they want me gone. They want me off the streets. Well, I mean, do they but have I'm any proof? To harm nobody. What are they using as proof then? They're using, they're saying that they've been calling me and whatnot to try and get me to break about it, to try and talk about it so that way they can make it look like I'm a proud guy about it. But I'm not. I'm not proud of my actions from back then. I'm You're not ashamed of, of that night. You're ashamed of that yeah. night, right? I am ashamed of that night. I am ashamed that I did something that stupid. I'm, I can't believe I fell into a trap like that. My my entire you got to thought with your dick. That was the problem. You got to think with your werewolf brain, not your vampire cock. That's the problem. And, you know, we're going to get exactly. this fixed. Man. It was a, it was a one-time incident, right? Only happened one time, correct? Yep. It only happened once. And since only then, I've once. been, I've been were, trying to bring me something. I, I thought I heard something that you were dating somebody that was 15. That was a long time ago. That was the old me. I had no idea that. How long ago was it? Back in 2023. How old last are you? Year, I'm 25 now. So you were 24 and they were 15? Yeah, back then. Yeah. So a nine. I mean, back then is only like, if we really counted months, it'd only be like three months, right? Yep. But then I broke it off with those girls. I kind of quit talking to them. I could contact entirely. I mean, that's 15. That's only like maybe freshman, sophomore in high, sophomore in high school. You don't see anything wrong with that? I do see everything wrong with that because technically they're still underage. I mean, but you want to change, right? You want to, you want to stop doing the bad stuff, but you did do the bad stuff and you want to stop, correct? Yes. Uh, I mean, that's only a year ago. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, did their, did their parents know? Was this? I don't really know if their parents knew. Sorry if I vanished for a second. I'm oh, that, that's all good. Uh, I get it. This is some uh, some hard questioning, of course. We're here for you, though. Oh, oh. We want you to change. Sorry. I want you to change. Yeah. I would also like to remind everyone that this was in the past. This is the old Mr. Corbin. This is the old Mr. Corbin. Sure, it was a, a three, four, five months ago, but it was still in the past. Everything oh. is being clean. A clean slate. I've been I've known Corbin since the old days, and he's been a stand-up guy to me ever since. Mm. Yes, and it's been great. He's been great. So, what's your preferred age for dating, then, Corbin? Of age, you know. What do you mean by of age? Like, what's your yeah. what's your preference? Eighteen, all, nineteen, twenty, all the way up into their like thirties or something. So, why'd you go for the fifteen-year-olds then? That was the old me. But that was a few months ago. I'm just, I know, 
it's a hard line of questioning. We're just getting this out in the air, getting it clarified for everyone that's watching. Embrace the shame so you can change. Was the we want to find the truth? The right. trolls that were originally on your back—that's from. Um, was it? You were talking to somebody on Snapchat that was underage. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I, something like that. I was. And you said I you were technically drunk? drunk. Yeah, I was technically drunk because I was drinking some vodka back then. I had this big thing of vodka I was drinking. How much did you drink? At the time, let me explain. At the time, I had lost my mom for three years. And I was drinking to numb the pain. Yeah, but how much did you drink when you were talking to this underage person? And this would be your second? It this was, would be your second underage relationship then, right? It was my first, actually. And I was drunk. I drank about half the bottle before everything went to shit. So I was pretty and heavily intoxicated. How long had you been how long did the relationship last though? Before the police showed up? Only a couple days. So, so you, you were, were drunk, drunk for, for a few days in a row? Yeah. Yeah, I was drinking trying I was drinking heavily to try and forget my pains, you know. Were you, were you, how much how so, much were you drinking in a day? About thirty percent. Thirty percent of what? Spent drinking. No, thirty so percent of what amount of alcohol? Uh, thirty percent of my of a uh, of my vodka was drink at that point. What size bottle? Uh, big one. I can't remember what size it was. It was. I don't remember. To be honest, you don't remember you, how many ounces, remember. correct? No, I don't. I don't remember how many ounces it was full of. I just know it was. I just know it was a big old bottle how, of it. How quickly were you drinking? Was this like I'm pounding a shot in it, a couple of shots in the hour, or was this like no, a? I was uh, drinking directly out of the fucking bottle. And how how quick were you drinking though? Was this <laughs> like I'm chugging this all in one go, or was this like I'm chugging it over the course of a day? I'm trying to spread out the, uh, the pain. Of it actually. You being say? totally honest. I was taking small sips, to be totally honest with you. And you're doing this throughout the day? Yep. Were you also eating between drinking? A little bit, yeah. How much do you weigh? I know it seems like an odd question, but... I'm, a, I'm at least two something now. Okay, um, how much of your body percentage would you say is muscle versus fat? Just my stomach is about 50% muscle and about... Thirty mm, percent fat. All right. So then, hey, do you? I'm gonna. I'm trying to think of how to explain this. Um, do you know how alcohol processes in the body? Depending on the person's body build and whatnot, really. Right. And so, were you completing an entire bottle in the day, or was this like I'm drinking thirty percent of the bottle? Those steps were even were small, but they were enough to just get me going during the day. You know, okay, I so you just, you were... my client is a lightweight. It's fine. He was drunk. He was just drinking a lot and sad, and that's why he uh, molested that kid or whatever it was. Sorry. So, yeah, it happens. We've all been we've all been on horrible, horrible so, week long alcohol binges. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I. But, I I don't think I've ever talked. I don't, I've never talked to a child when I've been drunk. Yeah, uh, that's a good point. You know, most I, of the time when uh... I'm just saying that we all make mistakes. We all do stuff we regret. I, for one, fell into the so same trap. So why'd you do it twice? Can I? Can I ask a uh, maybe like a. a I don't know how to ask this question. You say when you were dating the 15-year-old, that was the old you? Yes, that was the old me. The new me learned from my mistakes and is working to fix them. Why didn't you, exactly. the old you care about the age of consent? I don't know. Some part of me just didn't care. Some part of me just didn't want to care. You know, I didn't care at all. I just didn't give a fuck back then. But now that I see what I got myself into and the shit that's happening to me, I started giving a fuck because I could wind up in prison for 10 years 
and I could lose the res hab spot I'm in right now. So that's why I'm working hard to try and change so that way I can be free and not have to worry. Be less of the wolf and the vampire and be more of the man, right? Be a man yep. and work for what you want. All exactly. right, speaking of uh, being a man, let's let's try a lighter question. You know, that got, that got pretty dark, right? Right, Nick? Right, everybody? Yeah, yeah. that's how it was. Yeah, it was pretty dark. But it's I think it's hilarious. Wait. Wait. And Nick and my actual name is Shadow Nick Raven well. had a question. What was your question? Well, my question was, how many of you have, you know, how many of you are not believing me at this point? I I'm believe you. I have one hundred percent believe you, Mr. Corbin. Yeah. I'm just asking your audience that. I'm asking our oh. viewers what they think. A lot, like I said, a lot of those guys we've never seen in our chat before. A lot of them are probably trolls, so just be careful about that. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm reading. I'm not even show most them show like a thumbs up for those who believe me and a thumbs down who don't. Yeah, everybody. A thumbs up if you believe Jupiter, a thumbs down if you don't. And if you don't, you can leave. Because I'm working heavily on myself. I'm working to better myself as a person. How are you doing that, Corbin? Well, I'm paying more attention to what I do during the day. I pay more attention. Like, say my video well, game happens. My video game habits I've changed over the week. I've been taking breaks away from video gaming and just taking small breaks here and there to try and let my system cool down. Because if I play too much, my oh, Xbox but, is going to overheat and maybe melt down. But, but Corbin, I mean, what are you and, doing to prevent yourself from making the same mistakes that you used to make? Staying away from alcohol. As one should. That's one shot. Going on these kind of week to month long benders can really can really mess with someone's perception on time. So, uh, last year. So Corbin, uh, how do you feel about your? I mean, you want do you want to be a father in the future? Someday, yes. All right. How would you raise your kids? Just so the people know that you'd be a good parent and not to worry. I choose to raise my kids with love and respect. I wouldn't dare get in their business unless they asked me to. I would respect my kids' privacy. I wouldn't just barge into their room like some parents do. And I raise my kids to be respectful towards their friends as well. Because the more disrespect comes from the kids, the more, the more it's going to cause them problems later down the road. So as a man and someone who wants to be a father, I'd show that same respect to my kids. Exactly. Yes, yes. As a good father should. Yes, exactly. and give your kids privacy when you need them. Especially if some of you already have kids and are, you know, married and have kids already. I would really like it if you guys showed the same respect to your kids. Because my parents used to do that. They used to just burst into my room out of nowhere. So, you know, I had to uh, improvise with my parents. All right, so how do you punish their kids when they are bad? What Your p kids when they are bad? I wouldn't dare spank them. Forget that shit. Because that's technically child abuse. So what would you do then? I would I would sternly... I'd give them a stern talking to and tell them if they ever did it again. I'd let them learn their lessons. Like, say they tried to put a fork into one of those electrical so sockets and got shocked. I'd say... See, now you won't ever do that again. I mean, I let the kids learn from their own mistakes, you know? Let them how learn do you, from their own how do you? What do you do with your current children? I mean, there's some clips of you going around of you uh, beating them, the little stuffed ponies. Well, that was only, that was only Mariah. I only so, had her, I only, I only, I only, like, wailed on her because she was talking, she was, she was legit just talking shit and i had to teach her not to talk smack i had to I had to paddle her behind sometimes it's just who is this it's who is, just who is it? time. that's Mariah's one of jupiter's children my second oldest mariah is my second oh. oldest child do you still have all these ch children yes i do he's a good father of course he does yes yes of course i wouldn't i wouldn't dare but 
our uh, oldest oldest wants to go live with her aunt, Cheyenne. So, you're in a group home right now, right? No, I'm in res hab. What's res hab? Residential habilitation. Why are you... Is there a particular reason you're there, or is it just kind of a... Uh... For a disabled adult. It's, it's assisted living for disabled adults. Alright. All in the background? Uh, so, Mr. 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 Zippity, I have to say, Fallout 3 is a fine example and a fine thing to be playing at the moment. Let our client do what he needs to do to focus himself. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just playing some Fallout to try and take away the edge, because right now I'm feeling kind of edgy and it makes me feel edged. Alright, then so. why don't we talk about something you enjoy then? Uh, yeah, stop edging tell us me. Stop what edging my Fallout client, game? Mr. Cow Ranger. Stop edging my client. It's my turn yes, to ask yes, you all. Yes. So, all right. So, if you guys love video games, then tell me what are your favorites because I would definitely look into them and maybe try them out on both of my consoles later. later like a Dragon the Eight, the newest Yakuza game, Like a Dragon Eight, is by far my all-time favorite game, and I will live my life to the fullest. Like Kasuga Ishiban. Example to do. I promised myself I'd do that, and that's why I'm reading more because I enjoy reading. Exactly. Yeah, I uh, actually, I, the I actually, uh, um, I played Yakuza Mr. like a dragon in the seventh game. That game was fun. Um, Mr. Corbin, I hate to be um a, a bit of a of a nagging of a nagging little Nancy, but could you mind please turning your game down? We can hear it through your mic, and it's making some of your stuff um, ineligible. Thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, I'm more of a PC gamer, you know. And I, uh... I might look into PC gaming because I actually, if ever I get my laptop back, I might go back on Toontown for a bit. Yeah, I, I mean... love. Toontown, wasn't that that thing that uh, Nickelodeon made or something for kids? No, it was made by Disney. Disney game. But for kids. For and I grew up playing it, so I figured why not? You know, why not try it? Wait, did something happen to your computer? The police have it. When I get it back, is what I'm saying. I will why do the police have your computer? Now. As one of these people put it, they believed I had child pornography on my laptop and on my xbox and on my phone but i didn't i didn't have anything but they took you still haven't gotten your computer back nor my xbox one nor my phone how long have they had them three months already when did so they took them sometime in december actually it was in it was a uh, after July, so it was around July something. It was after July 4th. It was somewhere during July. So why? They they thought you had CP? Why would they think that? I don't know. Some person's like, well, you should take his laptop and everything just to be sure. I checked. And they've had it for three months. They've had it for a long time. Yeah, they've had those things for a long time. I've been waiting to get them back. But no, I don't get anything back. I'm still waiting. And if this proves true, that we're going to make sure this goes through the proper channels and actually gets, and this case gets dismissed, I would like, we to, will. Have, I would like to have that. And I would like to figure out who that cop is who's playing dirty to get fired and also arrested. Why do you think we're going to get him, Corbin. We're going to get him, Shadow Man. Hear your name. Why do you think that a cop is playing dirty? Because he oh, he's playing... He's playing dirty because he believes that I'm a child pornographer or something and wants whatever, he or she wants whatever that to be, to be me, so that way they can lock me up just like my brother. Because I have a feeling they think I'm just like my brother, and this cop is probably one who put my brother Shane away and is looking to put me away. So, Corbin, do you, do you understand... Uh... How much it costs to like look through a computer and an Xbox and all that? Yeah, it costs way too much time and effort. Yeah, so then my question is, if this was just a corrupt cop doing this, 
Why would they spend so many funds and so much effort into this when there's other issues? What? Why do you think they would do that unless they were yeah, genuinely concerned? I mean, yeah, they're probably, they're not probably concerned. They're more, they're probably just doing it because they want to do it. They're not genuinely But, but it costs concerned. them money to keep your stuff there. Exactly. This person is definitely trying to do something stupid. This cop All is right. doing something just, stupid that they shouldn't be. Because so if also, you do something like that and get... Because they're not allowed to get away with that sort of shit, you know? So why have they been getting away with it? I don't know, to be honest. I think these people are just... Yeah, exactly. I, it's just the corrupt system. It's the corrupt way of our country. Our country is corrupt. Alright, so... They are spending a ton of tax dollars and a ton of time and a ton of effort into investigating you for no reason other than to fuck with you. Exactly. And they're spending money every single day to fuck with you. What makes exactly. you special? Nothing makes me special. I'm just saying. We're all, we all have our ways of coping with everything, but this cop needs to back off and leave me alone because I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I didn't. So I if you didn't do it. nothing, why would they go out, get a warrant? Because they'd have to have proof to get a warrant. Seize your stuff, keep it for three months, and refuse to give it back, and pay money every single day to keep it in their in their police station. Also, why? Didn't... I don't know what I don't know what this cop is planning to do with all that shit of mine, but I need them to understand that I'm not going to play around. I'm not going to play their game. But no, not... here's the thing. So people actually have to put in information to get a warrant from a judge, and a judge has to judge that there's enough information and enough evidence to take your stuff. You have to go and get a warrant for that. So what do you think that they presented that of you that made them so concerned that they sent it to a judge, and the judge said, oh my god, yes, go get his stuff? It was That's a guy called, It was Anonymous International that did that. <laughs> okay, so... I didn't, I didn't do a damn thing to anybody. You didn't They're do a damn people. thing to anybody, but you've also had two relationships with underage people, and they decided to seize all of your items that could possibly hold CP. And at, and there's nothing on there that they're going to find. So why'd they keep it for three months? I don't know. Okay, don't so let's ask me. So, so Go ahead, you, Nick. You say you, you haven't done anything, but didn't, like, I mean, three months ago you were dating a child, which is illegal. That was a... That was the old me, is what I said. It's not who I am now. Yeah, but in the eyes of the law, they're not going to be like, oh, well, that was three months ago. Like, you still, like... Mr. Mr. A Mr. Nick, if I may... Objection, if I may... If I may, if my, if I may hearsay on this, um, sir. Um, the thing is, he, he dated those girls, but he didn't get nudes from them, is what my client is saying. There's no CP on his Xbox 360. He did not get nudes from them. He just he just flirted and dated and was a, a pervert or something. I, but he didn't get nudes. So there's no CP. It's, it's my client's exactly. getting out here. Anyway. That's what I'm talking about. It's That's what I was trying to say to you. He's, a, he's yeah. very ashamed of that. So here's the question then. If it was three months ago, if I'd murdered somebody three months ago, would I still be able to get arrested or is that just the old me? Well, it depends on Mr. Ranger. Mr. Kyle Ranger. In my defense, in my defense, I was not thinking clearly. I was under the influence of alcohol. Was okay, not so if I was clearly. under the influence of alcohol, I went out, I stabbed somebody, killed them, buried them in my backyard, was caught. But that happened three months ago. Would I still be liable for what I did, even though I was drunk? Well, murder is a more serious charge. Murder is yeah, a more serious, serious charge. charge. Not. Okay, so if not I went not. out, assaulted somebody three months ago while drunk and then went home three months later, could I still be arrested or is that just the old me? Well, it depends on, depends on how old the, because there's a thing called statue of limitations. But it's only been three months. With crimes like that, then there's about a 10 year yeah, years. area. 10 year year gap. Yeah, there's a 10 year statute well, not of even limitations. A, no, no, not even a 10 year year gap, but like a statute of limitations, like yeah. extending like upwards of 10 years. Like oh, if this know. happened when you're 20, it, you could like at 29, you can go and say something. Okay, yeah. so then I'm a would I be liable? For an public service announcement. I mean, it, it would have been three months. I was drunk. I was intoxicated. 
I have all the books and not a single one of them are law books. All my law books are somewhere else. I've lost them. But I will tell you right now, as my experience with paralegal, you will all be liable for ev for every single one of those crimes. Murder, the, the Chomo stuff, all of it. it, it the lie so then why isn't your client liable? He's liable. Because I was with him. For, for yeah. his child. He did not get so, the CP from them, though. He did not get the nudes. That... Did you, did you send nudes? Good question. I didn't even ask that. Oh, goodness. I always come unprepared for my case. Uh, did you did send you nudes? Send nudes? Only one picture that was sent, and it got shown around social media to everyone via so you sent a group nudes to an underage person. I, I didn't send it all over the place. I only sent one. One to but one you sent it but to a child. child. It was to one person, though. It's but you sent it fine. to yeah. an underage yeah, person. I'm, let me explain myself. I was not, I was not thinking clearly. My brain was out of commission. I was drunk. He was drunk. I was out of it. Yeah, it was I did not it. think clearly. I'm a disabled That's fucking true. adult. Get how many times must I tell you guys that I am disabled? A disabled. Fucking Being adult. disabled doesn't is not an excuse for uh, talking or touching a child. Oh my God. That, that, that is true, but 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 in court, uh, in the actual but being drunk, drunk is being drunk is not even being drunk. Is everyone, is a one thing. second. So I've just been sent some uh, some information. What is this about you wanting to fuck your own kids? Let's not talk about that. No, no, no. We we need to talk about it. Clearly, there's a pattern here. Underage kids. Leave it alone. As I'm I not said, going to leave it alone. Hey, no, Unfortunately, let's not get, this hey, is something hey, that must be, be brought up. Let's be respectful and let's not get heated now. Yeah, let's all stay cool. Like I like, told you to drop it, and drop it. Leave it alone. Let's leave it alone. Leave it at that. <clears throat> yes, and we can all live together and get used to keeping it in the family. Yes, we will live in a huge house. That was me when our kids grow old enough to be able to lose their virginity, we can take it from them. What do you mean? Like, send them to a place... Hey! To explore their passion. You have no idea about what the fuck is going on with me these days. That was... So you're still talking about, about having sex with children now? But I thought that was the old you. That was me talking to my fucking girlfriends. About fucking your own kids. You're still talking you're talking about having sex with children, man. With your no, children. No, 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 no. Shut up. Shut <clears throat> up. If shut I may. Up. Shut the fuck up. Listen to me. You're not one. going to tell me to shut the fuck up. Anyway, I'll be continuing. Bye, bye. That's what I meant. You get everyone. used to sex, you know, like a summer camp, and see if they would like to lose their virginity to others in the camp. That's what I mean. Not going to go into incest unless you feel like it. Does that make sense to you? If not, then let's move on. By the way, the incest was part of a gag joke. LOL. Except you said when our kids grow old enough to lose their virginity, we could take it from them. I, I think let's Mr. Corbin here wanted to explain himself. Yes. But what, so, give him a chance to explain. Fun. Sure, go ahead, explain. Explain. I would love to. Just explain this to me, please. Go ahead. For one, it was meant to be a gag. It was trying to be funny. I dropped it after a few years. Who ever screen recorded that while I was talking to my girlfriends or whoever was eavesdropping on my conversation at the time needs to learn that I was talking about when our kids come of age. Wait, wait, you're saying when your kids come of age, you're going to fuck them. <sighs> Leave it alone. No, because you brought that up and you just not even denying it. Confirm that that's what you want to do, so please in, explain. In his defense, I incest mean, is a lesser case than, than child fucking. It is, it's better to be an incest retard than a charm. That's all I have. Sorry. Nothing. So what would you consider of age? When they hit their when they hit their twenties or something, I don't fucking know. Once they hit their twenties, they fuck you their you're gonna fuck your kids. You Jupiter. people are annoying me. If you're going to keep on doing shit like that, then I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna leave this conversation. Hey no, I know. This this whole thing was here so that you can explain yourself and defend yourself. Yeah, if get you're gonna out. Get these accusations out. These are hard accusations. 
and just misinterpret what I'm going to say, what I'm saying, then I have no business talking to you. You're going to misinterpret. Well, it, I Mr. Have, Corbin, Mr. Corbin, 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 okay, Corbin. everyone take a deep breath. These were genuine questions. They were screenshots I was sent, and of course I have to ask about them because this is serious. Okay, for one, what I do, what, what I talk about with my girlfriends is none of your damn business. Oops, sorry, sorry. I accidentally pressed something. Oh, uh, he giga nicked. Giga Nick. Whoa, I'm super big. I apologize. <laughs> what I talk about with my girlfriends is none of your damn business. Exactly. It's private yeah, information. It's private information. That is in the privacy of your own um, Facebook so, Messenger group. That's why I told okay, you to like leave it alone. alone. Yeah, that's why I told her to leave it alone. Him or her. Do you think that's she was the one who leaked it? Do you think she was the one who leaked it and she was a troll all along, Mr. Uh, Shadow Knight? Shadow Raven, but yes. Shadow, Shadow, Bird, but Shadow Raven, yes, sir. To, I, told her, I told this person to drop it because it was something that I said in the heat of the moment. I told them to drop it because it was making me feel angry. What I talk to my girlfriends about is my own damn business. Are you willing to take the plea bargain here of, of just being into incest and not uh, child sex? Are you willing to take this plea bargain? Of course. It's not It's not uncommon in the U.S. to have that kind of shit going on. It's not uncommon. Incest. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's not uncommon in the U.S. What, you think it isn't? Yeah. So, it's, not, it's not that uncommon. It's for clarification, are you saying you are okay with incest? It's not <laughs> uncommon. It's, it's not common. uncommon, but at the same time, there's nothing in the rule books of the U.S. against it. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? Exactly. exactly. In yeah, some yeah, states, yeah. but not all. I mean, I mean, there's uh, there's Alabama, but uh, you, you know how it is. Yeah. So all right, all right, and I'm not let's, into let's, not reel it, let's reel it back then. Let's reel it back then. Let's, let's I'm not into that thing. sweet home Alabama bullshit. Are you kidding me? All right, so um, let's talk about something you're actually interested in again. Why don't why yeah, let's just move on about the ghost. What's the most dangerous type of ghost you've ever encountered? Well, there there are several classifications. Well, actually, technically, there's three of them. There's the spirit, a ghost, like a entity, or a poltergeist, which can interact with the world like throwing shit around and making noises. The spirit can do the same thing, but can't, in, but isn't as powerful. The entity, on the other hand, is all powerful, can move and make noise and all that sort of stuff. All right, so uh, have you ever gotten an actual case? We had this old high school building out in Melba where I grew up, right? There was this dark entity in there that would sacrifice to some demon god. And I was playing out near the area. My sisters and their friends were watching me play. I was playing soccer with some friends. I was just a kid. I was like five or six. And what happened was uh, the ball got kicked towards the building where the door was. So I ran up to grab the ball and I stop and I look up and there's this man standing there. I greet him, ask him how his day is going, you know, and my siblings see me talking to somebody who isn't there. So I got rather, I remember him telling me, do you want to come inside? And I remember getting quite scared and saying, no, I'm good. Then as I turn to leave, I fall forward and pass out. And when I woke up, when I finally came to, I woke up in the elementary school nurse's office with my sisters and her fr and their friends surrounding me, telling me I was lucky to have survived that thing because that creature was actually used to be a man who was a demon worshiper who basically Vitruvius. made a deal with demons. It's so, all connected, Mr. Corbin. That must have been Varys. Vitruvius Varys. I think that's the man who attacked you. Or at least the spirit, the demon, Vitruvius Varus. 
I think uh, Phoenix I'll right see. here is being true and honest with us. Yes, because I, I was just exercised that demon from that man. And it told me about the time that it had a little boy trapped with his pants around his legs, and, and he went to the school office. Isn't that right, Barry? Yes, I remember. I remember. It was just weird. But I was lucky to be alive. So that you creature, believe in, like, magic spells and curses and stuff then? Yeah, curses can... If you curse somebody, those words can... Because you know words can hurt, right? Oh, yeah. Do you know any curses? Naturally. Well, the last thing I remember saying to my mom when she was alive over the phone was, I hate you and wish you were dead. And guess what happened? She died. So, here's it's a question dead. then. You've had kind of a rough run of luck the past couple of years, right? Yes. Extremely bad luck. So, would you say that perhaps someone cursed you? My brother. Your brother? Yes, my brother. Why would your brother curse you? He's jealous of me being the apple of mom's eye. So how, by the way, who is this Linda Binda person that keeps getting brought up? Can we just drop her because I quit contacting her. I cut entirely. I cut her out of my life entirely. I don't care anymore. Oh, I was just going to ask if possibly she, her name she was is Linda involved. You know, uh... Her real name is Linda Torres. Did so, you have a relationship with her? Uh, that was a long, long time ago. It was supposed to be. It was supposed yeah, like, to be temporary. It was supposed to be temporary. He was only using me to gain. So she was using me for comedic relief rather than, you know. A genuine relationship. Gotcha. Yeah. She was using me for her own nefarious deeds. Her real name is Linda Torres. At least that's what I read on her on her fan website. So, super uh, super quick question for you. So, there's a possibility that you are cursed, and do you think that curse gets worse whenever? Because other people have probably told you that they uh, they want you to suffer and such. Do you think that curse is getting worse each time? I believe that what my brother Shane cursed me with hasn't really affected me much because I've. I found a way of suppressing the curse that was bear that I'm bearing. I found a way to suppress it and to keep it from activating. Although you know, a good way to break curses is the break the curse. Have you heard that? Have you heard of that before, Shadow Raven? It's you got to fuck. <laughs> you got to break mirrors to break curses, Shadow Raven. Believe I know. My, my assistant Maya taught me that. I know how to break curses. I just suppress them. I know how to break them because I'm actually, I actually cast a curse on him. I cast a counter curse. Good. Are you able to detect if like there's a curse being cast on you? I can detect it by using spiritual energy. So someone, so you know the belief that if someone has enough hatred for someone and enough, it brings it into a fruition by saying it and stuff that that can also cause a curse. You you know that belief, right? Obviously, you're a paranormal investigator. Yes, I've spent years. So then, years. if someone was really, really mad at you and hated you enough, do you think that that curse would cling on to you? Probably. All right, so do you think that uh, possibly, if you also did really, really bad things, that that could also cause a curse? Because it would cause a, uh, it would put bad out into the world? Yes. Um, yeah, it's acceptable. So theoretically, if you did enough bad things, you would be cursed. Forever, yeah. Do it's, you think uh, that curse is coming on you now because of some of the things you did? I mean, I mean, what I did could have caused any parent out there to curse me because they consider me a threat now. But I'm not a threat to anyone. I was just, I was not thinking, uh, and I, at the time, I was not thinking about my own well-being. So, uh, you, I mean, you said that, uh, Possibly people among you were, were Faye, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, aren't Faye pretty infamous for curses and such? Yeah. My, my father always told me, never trust a Faye. He told me out there, never trust a Faye, especially on the steps. Mm. So, uh, Jupiter, either. do you happen to have a lot of iron around you? 
No, not really. I see. That's all my questions for now. Don't worry too much about it. Uh, Nick, would you like to ask something? Um, <clears throat> yeah, give me one sec to think of something real quick. Yeah, let's let's take a bit. You know, get our breath. Take some breaths. Commercial break. Got a little heated. You guys kind of slandered my client here, but it's all right. Yeah, it's it's okay. Um, don't worry. The consequences will never be the same when it comes to slander. Never. Exactly. Never be the same. Jupiter, do you have any questions for uh, for us or chat? Uh, not really. I just, I'm, I'm just saying those who basically told me just said what was said in my talking to my girlfriend and whatnot. The person who leaked that shit. If you're watching, someone this, leaked. It. Yeah. Mm. If you leaked what I, I said to control. my girlfriend or anyone else. I will find you, and I will end your existence. How will you do that? Let's just say I have eyes and ears everywhere, always watching. Do you always think that could have been uh, anonymous? Like my I don't know. The PVCC. I have a question for you, Mr. Shadowbird Money Man. Do you know how much my fee costs? Because my fee is far, far too high. But I'm giving it to you for free. You are. Yep. You have a bargain with me on your side, sir. Yeah, I just don't have any like questions, but I do have one thing to say to anyone else who is trying to take this information and use it for bad and try to use it for evil. Let me explain to you what is going to happen to you. You are going to have the worst curse put on you from the time you are hearing this and the time this interview is over. I cast this curse on you to forever be unlucky. Your luck will, will cease to be, and soon you will find yourself homeless, jobless, and without any source of food. Hope you have fun with that. You know, uh... Bastard. Mm. I, I mean, that that's a little bit harsh, don't you think? That's close to home. That could happen to any one of us. That could happen to anyone. Yeah, uh, every all of America almost uh, that that are under working class or working class, they are they are one paycheck away from poverty, being hungry on the streets and dying. That's pretty so harsh, Mister Shadow Money Man. The person who leaked is, is hopefully gonna, this person who leaked that information is rich, so they lose all their money and get the money returned to the homeless people they cast out onto the streets. Oh, I hope so. That's and I curse the rich people. Who are watching this? I curse all of you to lose oh. all of your money and for Why? it to all go back to the people. Well, I'm, pretty rich. I'm pretty rich, though. I am. A, I am a paralegal. Yeah, I am pretty rich. rich. Not my rich mm. friends. The people who are rich and my friends. You, the curse can avoid you, but all the other people who are rich but aren't friends of mine can lose all their money. Because I don't know, you know if what? they told you. I'm going to say that that's not allowed. Tonight. I'm going to counter curse and say that uh, if you happen to have some money in your pocket and you're hanging out in chat. There will be no curse upon ye. May the light shine upon exactly. you. May the moon be bright. Bill yeah, Finance so Freddy's been funny. He's been funny the whole thing. Don't don't worry. You're, you're safe. I, I gave you a blessing. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Maybe Mr. Zippy, that is not called for. My my client is not my my client is not a pedophile. No. He's my but personal friend. All of you who have been here and have had my back and who are actually getting to know me. I'd like you guys to be friends with me later. You guys can send me friend requests on Facebook and whatnot and be friends with me. I don't mind. The more friends, the merrier. Am I right? Do you have an Instagram you want to shout out? Oh, uh, yeah. My uh, Instagram, ShadowRaven6116. You can find me there. On, uh, on YouTube, you can find me at Raven's Nest. And, yeah, that's about it. I deleted TikTok off my phone because, you know, it was causing more trouble than it was worth. So that's, that's good legal advice right there. No, don't even do TikTok. It's not worth it. Come to YouTube with us. I, we are here to defend you, Shadow Bird exactly. Money Man. We are here to defend you. Yeah. yeah and if you, if any of you want to find me at Raven's Nest, you can find it under the, if you see the like profile picture that I'm using. Find me under that profile picture and it will. And then you guys can 
And if you guys want, you guys can be like moderators or something for my channel and help me make more content. Because I'm thinking about making content. What kind of content are you First, thinking about making? I'm thinking, I'm thinking my paranormal content mixed with gaming, you know, something, you know, a little bit of spooky stuff and a little bit of fun stuff, you know? That's me. I'm spooky. <laughs> you know, uh, so, uh, and to all of you who want to, to all of you who want to be friends with me in the chats here in the like chat area, you can all just hang out with me sometime. And hopefully all this bad stuff that's been happening to me is finally put to rest and I'm able to go out and live my life, you know? Finally be able to go out in the community without being called a pedophile. Exactly. I mean, this is all so, I, I don't know about putting out your, uh, your stuff out there, but I, I guess if you want to, feel free. Do you have a YouTube yeah. channel? Yeah, it's just Raven's Nest. You can find me under Raven's Nest on YouTube. It's my YouTube channel. It's my secondary channel. My original was Jupiter Paranormal, but that got shut down because of, uh, because of the police investigation. That one got shut down, so I had to use my other one. You guys might want to post this to your guys' channels and then maybe help me post this to my channel so people can see that I'm willing to post it everywhere I go, you know? Right. Yeah. And if my girlfriends are watching this, I love you. I love you both. I love, I you. love you both. We got a catch. Yeah. yeah, I I love you, Kylie and Desi. I love you both. You Desi, both are that mine. familiar. Desiree. Kylie, I love you both so much. I love you both. You are both you are both extremely beautiful. I love you if you're watching this. Just know that I'll be with you soon enough. I love you both so much. So you are your girlfriends aware of each other? Yes, because they're friends. Oh, uh, That's when did, they, did they contact you recently? Yeah, I just wanted to let them know if they're watching this. Oh, shit, I was reading it. I love them so much, and I love them a lot. Wait, is one of them Desiree Mev something? I don't know. Never really. She just, uh, that was one of the people that sent me some information. That's all. Murfden, you mean? Yeah, I think that's how it's spelled. I'm not really sure. I didn't want to, like, mispronounce it in Doxum or anything. Yeah, Desi, I love you so much. Does Ray Murphy? Yeah, she's, she's the one that sent me those screenshots. How the? What the fuck is she? What the fuck is she trying to fucking prove? Like, try to get me. I don't know. I didn't do a damn thing to get her like that, to make her do that. I didn't do a damn thing. I mean, Maybe. you said Anonymous was after you, right? Uh, Mr. Corbin, it, it may seem that you've been in the process of a long con. I don't know, to be honest. Oh, do you, do you have a Discord, by the way, Corbin? I'm not going to say it out loud on here, because last time I put it on TikTok, it fucking got hacked. So oh, that's, that's all right. That's all good. It's, it's uh, understandable. You don't want that happening again. Exactly. I could always put so, a VPN uh, on that for you, Corbin. Hmm. Is Desi one of the ones who uh, you wanted to have kids with? Yeah. I oh, she, maybe she just got a little scared by what you sent. You know, that, that stuff's pretty intense. Yeah, I, Seem, seems she I didn't see it. As a After all, I it was can, just. Yeah, I can be a little scary at times. What do you mean? I yeah, mean, what? Explain. I mean, my dark side of me is just is used to just giving in to shit and just causing contention and whatnot. So I try to I try to be the best I can be around new people and whatnot. I'm pretty much good for everybody. 
I try not to get into too many fights because if people pick a fight with me, they're going to wind up getting knocked the fuck out. Uh, do you have fighting experience? I have a lot of different fighting experience. I've I actually hit my brother Shane once with a forward wind palm strike where I hit where I used the air of my I used the shockwave of air from my palm to send him flying. Oh, how, where did you learn that technique? Did you have like a like a master of some kind, a, uh, a sensei? I learned it on my own. I am actually an air elemental when I fight. I use the element of wind. I'm a wind element. You're a wind element. So is that part of the vampire, the dragon, or the? Uh, it's or just that everyone has a different element within them. Oh, it just how depends cool. on which one, which one resonates strongly with you. Oh, I, I see. Did, could you tell someone's element just by talking to them, or is that a... Uh... That would have to be... In person. I mean, what about one of your friends? What about uh, what about Jay? What element is he? Uh, I can't really just tell. Tell, I can... There are special ways you can tell. Just ask the possessing spirit within you to grant you their power, and they will do so. I mean, I, I think I could tell. If you're air, air is kind of a, it, it's powerful, it's temperamental, right? Yep. It's kind of a, a destructive force and a, a creating one too. It uh, fertilizes things with pollen and stuff. I mean, I think you're, I think Jay, uh, let me look. I think Jay's water. He goes with the flow. He's pretty chill. I think uh, Seth Liao there, he's pretty quiet too. I, I think maybe he's, he's a calmer wind element, I would say. You know, he kind of... You two vibe so well, you know. It's that kind of thing. And maybe uh, Phoenix right there. I would say he's Earth. He's sturdy. He's rock solid. He's there for you no matter what. I think Nick here is... Uh, I what think am I? Nick's fire. He's fire. <laughs> Burns bright with passion, but then he dials down, you know. That, that sounds to make sense. So, uh, uh, you ever heard of a uh, aura reading, Shadow Raven? Hmm? You know how you can like see someone's aura, you can sense it or whatever. Oh yeah, aura reading, I can do that. Can you? Are you talented enough that you can get it uh, through a screen, or you're not able to do that? I know some people that can, but I can only tell someone's aura just by sensing them in person sometimes. Oh, so you're not a very strong aura reader? That's a bummer. That is not as strong, but I'm getting there eventually. I mean, come on, try it. Maybe it would be help. Maybe it would work hard. Maybe it would work better if you cammed up, Mr. Corbin. It's only fair. We can speak. We can all speak face to face. I think that would be wondrous. Um, I believe a face is the most trusting thing you can find in a person. I'm sitting here. I don't even have to close my eyes or nothing. Just sense. I can sense your aura no matter what. So what's our aura? One of you is. One of you is definitely trying to cause something. One of you is definitely doubting me. One of you is trying to is actually working with said cop to get me arrested. Oh, which one of you do you think it? Do you think that is, and why? I mean, that's tell. not really what aura reading is, quite frankly. But I mean, this could be something it's else. It's personality reading as well as my aura. I use an aura feeler around everyone. I I stretch out with my aura. And I can touch other people's mental stabilities. And one of you is definitely working with that cop because I can sense it in your mind. It's mm. known as a mind sense. It allows me to sense people's true intentions. If you had to you pick which that? one of us is the bad guy, Corbin. If I pointed it out, it would already be too late. They would have already sent this. To the Who here would be working with that dastardly jerk cop? Well... I can definitely tell you the one who was sent the screenshot of our text <laughs> is going to be working with them. No, um, I don't. I don't think I'm a. I don't think they would be working with them. I, I understand. 
I have to be. I have to be I'm, uh, unbiased. I'm very sorry. I mean, quite yeah. frankly, I don't like cops. And if there's a the only person that reached out to me was just a couple people concerned about this live stream that sent me stuff. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Me neither. But I'm saying there is someone in this chat room who's working with that cop. Mm. It's yeah. hard to weed them out. Just let them. Just let them do their own thing. We won't try to pressure them or nothing. We'll just let them come we out. Shall let them, we shall let them. We shall let them expose themselves as the little flasher that they are to the world to see. Exactly. exactly. So, I mean, how, how do you read order? Do you just kind of uh, feel a sense for it, reach out for it? Yep, I can reach out, sense people's auras. Do you know the and colors? I think that someone's aura is good. It'll be like a sense of calm over the person. I hope the color of my aura is blue. Wait, can you like send vibes through an aura? Is that a thing? It's known as it's known as oral touch. Like it helps you, it touches the aura around me, allowing me to read other people's auras. It's yeah, but could like, you like like if someone wanted to send something through an aura, could they do that? Especially if you're reaching out at that moment. It's a sense of telepathy, mostly, is what you're getting at. It's a telepathy. All right. So, like, theoretically, someone, though, could send you shit through an aura. Exactly. Huh. And would you be able to tell if someone was trying to? Yeah, I could if I wanted to. Would it be, like, could someone send you pain? Could someone send you, like, information? Yeah, all that sort of thing, you know? And Kinda you'd like feel the... it if someone was literally sending it to you at this moment. Yes, I could feel pain, I could feel anguish, everything. Oh, and you can feel, like, good things too, right? Yep. Okay, then why aren't you feeling anything? Because I trained myself not to feel. Yeah, but it was something Conceal good. Why wouldn't you feel that? It's called conceal, don't feel. Okay, then what did I send you? Sent me something. I couldn't really tell. Oh, my so brain is aura, like messed up, or uh... yeah, something like that. Ah, oh, all right, all right, fair enough. All right. I, I'm sorry. I'm, our client is clearly distracted by uh, what is that? A uh, guitar here? I'm not very used to your uh, Western I think it's games. Paused. Follow. It's one of three. I'm, uh, I'm almost done with what I'm doing. I'm just going around exploring places. I'm almost going for my exploration, and then after that, I'll pause, save, uh, and then off the email. Theoretical uh, question. What was so corrupt about the last council they had to take it down? Uh, just most of them were perverts and child predators. Oh, uh, what, what kind of, what age of children did they prey on? I think you already know the answer to that question. No, I don't. I don't know anything about the... What was it? The the Moon Council or whatever? The Moonlit Council was targeting kids that were five and six to be prey. To their oh, wow. queens. And you think That's they should be at least 16 before they're targeted, correct, sir? Yep. They were targeting young children as prey. I couldn't sit back and watch anymore. Five and six is too young, but sixteen. Once they once they know about sex, correct, sir? That's what you believe. Yep, I would believe that, to be honest with you. Wait, so so a sixteen year old could be uh could theoretically have sex because they know about sex? If they're mature enough to know what sex is, yes. So I mean, what about the fact that like most kids get the sex ed talk when they're in fifth grade? Does that mean they're ready? I mean, not really. I mean, they're still kids. They. But you just you said could, they're mature enough to understand it. I'm and saying they they were mature enough to actually understand what the word, what happens during said, like activity. Because most kids are getting like sex talked, but other kids aren't. So if I, on, so if I. 
if I came across pornography when I was 11 or 12, do you think that would make me like, like be able your, to convince it your, It would make your, uh, it would make your childhood a little fucked up, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but I don't think, I mean, that's like sixth grade. It's not out of the norm. Um, I'm just saying, like, so you would uh, just, you would think, like, upon discovery and understanding of, like, what sex is, it would be okay to have, like, I mean, like, you'd be able just, to consent. I mean, I believe in the age of consent. I believe in that. And I don't really want to go against that. You know, I, I choose to wait until they're of age of consent wise, you know? You, you choose. I choose to let age of consent go before everything, you know? <sighs> So what do you think the age of consent should be? I believe it should stay where it is. Yeah, but you're saying that if a child understands sex and is like fully aware of what happens and stuff, what age do you think that happens at? Well, kids these days in high school are losing their virginity even earlier. They're probably like, what, 16, 17 already? I was virginity when I was 15. So then if they understand what's happening and they understand oh, yeah. what the process yeah, is and they fully comprehend the consequences, then you say that, yes, it's okay. Yeah, just as long as they are, like, in their teens, but not when they're children. Are you kidding me? But did you say you would lower it to 15 before? I said I would lower it probably down to, like, 16, 17 if I were president at one point. Why? I don't know make it less boring and see what happens, you know? Fuck around and find out, you know? So then if you lowered that age to that point, then that would mean that, like an adult would be able to have intercourse with those children. You understand that, right? I understand that. I was I was being funny when I said that, though. But I was then, like, fuck around and find out. But you just said that it would make it interesting, then. Yeah, I was being funny. I was saying that but to if try you're president, but what's you would the make joke the age there? of consent 16. What I'm saying is, my joke was saying, my joke was actually towards teenagers these days because teenagers don't really know what's going on in this world. They're all just dumbasses, you know. But that yeah, wasn't so what you, you said. can that fuck them. So fuck around and find out. That's the joke. Uh, something like that. I was meaning to say, if you fuck around and find out, you're gonna get shot or something. You know, that was my that punch. Was what you said. I hear that said if you were the president of the United out, States when you were having a very serious conversation that you would make the age of consent 16. Okay. Didn't you one, just wake up? I didn't pass out. I'm just saying for one, I would never do that. And for two, I believe that everyone should have their own like ideals in their life. But so me, what are your ideals then? I don't do anything stupid and keep the age consent where it is because I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, you know, do something that dumb because if I did do something that stupid, shit could get really weird real fast. Mr. Juniper, I must say, as a father with, with three beautiful daughters, I keep this thing on me and I put silver bullets in it for any werewolf that may try to come take my daughter's precious virginity i keep it loaded because i know there are predatory people out there predatory werewolves are you one of them sir i'm asking you this question as your defense attorney uh, uh, no, objection not. objection uh brandishing a sick ass firearm is not a nice thing to do yeah but you can have weapons good. in court i am not a child proud me i'm just a man who's willing to make the world a better place <clears throat> You are so, a man who had multiple. We're, we're asking this because wait, you had multiple relationships with people that were around the age of fifteen to sixteen. Jupiter, what would you, do you think? Somebody that was twenty-four in a relationship with a fifteen-year-old is a child predator. I say that if they ever did push their luck, yes, they would. But me, I was a different story because I learned. What from makes my, you different? 
because I learned from my mistake and I learned but you to move ahead. Twice. And there's a victim. Do you not care about the victim in this? I do care. I do care. It's just I'm letting things be as they are because if I don't. What's with the accent? I choose to use it once in a while. It's, Is it, it because you're help. nervous? No, 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 it's not that. It's just dealing with things as they are, even if it's just one person. Just because, you know, what sets me apart from the past me, the, my past self, is that I learned a long time ago to learn from my mistakes and move forward. So did you not learn the first time you did it, or do you just not care? I learned. I learned from them. But I you did again. When my stuff was taken, I, when my stuff was taken, I learned fast that no matter what I do. So you learned fast because you were caught. I learned fast because I know that some things in this world are just unacceptable. Yeah, like dating so children. To deal with, I learned to deal with things that, even though they are out of my control, I can still. But it was within your you know, your control to not send a dick pic to a child. Out of his control. This, yeah. My defense. I was not in the right kind of way. I was you, in a rough spot. You were drunk. Supposedly, after taking very minor sips of alcohol, eating a again with a 200 and... What'd you say, Pound? Body weight? That was, for, according to you, 50% muscle, 50% fat. You're taking sips out of a singular bottle of vodka over the course of multiple days. You would not have been intoxicated enough to make that kind of mistake. Even though people that are that intoxicated often don't make that mistake. That means that you had that inhibition and that intent before you drank. And the alcohol was the one thing that allowed you to slip through. You wanted to do this. If this was only months ago. You just used the alcohol as a cheap excuse to let your barriers fall and go after a child. Excuse me. But I excuse didn't you, indeed. Of, um, of, I didn't sip every day. I was completely hammered. I literally drank till I couldn't remember what was going on. Except so that you remember the, this and you were able to comment on it later and you're able to fully recite it to us. Do you think it's okay if you get drunk that it's okay to like talk to children and send them dick pics? As I said, I was going through a rough patch in life. You know, does, does that make it okay if somebody's going through a rough patch in their life to send dick pics to children? So, originally, it wasn't supposed to be like that. I apologize. When I lost my grandfather, I lost several family members all within the course of a year to drugs. I still didn't drink enough to get so intoxicated that I messaged a minor. I never went that way. Because guess what? You would have to have the inhibition and the intent or the want for children beforehand. Way before that you did this stuff and you got drunk and had all these tragic things happen. You had that desire and that want. You just, you looked at the alcohol, you looked at what happened, and decided that those would be your excuses to prey on a child. That was the old Corbin. Yeah, the, the, the three-month-old Corbin. How long did you date the 15-year-old? Mr. Corbin, you still there? Yeah. Or, or better yet, at least how long before you sent the dick pics? The, the time doesn't matter of how long y'all dated, but how long until you sent the, the, the evidence that I have exhibit exhibit T here? I'm looking at it right now. It's pretty pretty wild. I, someone just sent it to me. Uh, my associate Maya did. Look at my face and look at the disheveled look that I was going with. I was disheveled. I was not. You were disheveled. You were drinking and you used it as an excuse to prey on a child and ruin their life. I ruined my own life. Thank you very much. So it's okay. So that's so that's that makes it okay because your life got ruined. You can ruin a child's your life got your life got ruined because of your consequences and the actions you decided to take. Exactly. 
I so decided it's to not their fault. Things. They're the ones who had to suffer because of your mistakes. You were the one who hurt somebody. They have to live with that for the rest of their life. You are making mistake. yourself the victim, and you are simply not the victim. You are just I'm taking responsibility for my mistakes, and I love. You are just a predator. Yeah, you're taking responsibility for your mistakes. Okay. But you're you're in 2024 talking about having sex with your own children. All right, fuck all like, of you. How did you not learn? How, you, how is this learning anything or changing? If you're I'm here to, to believe you, you Corbin. I'm here to defend you. Is this question making you uncomfortable? Yes, it is. That line of questioning is really starting to piss me off. But these are all I, things I you've completely done. get it, sir. Then, then maybe these, but it's, these, these, these people, they're just wondering exactly why you would want to do such a thing. I mean, we are here to... Um, uh, drill down and clean yeah, these accusations I away. I know you people are searching for answers right now. I get it. What I'm doing is telling you where I stand on this point. Yes, I fucked up. Yes, I made mistakes. And yes, I'm taking responsibility for what I've done. Doesn't mean that I that I don't regret it. Yes, I made some bad choices, all because I was not thinking clearly and not actually understanding what was going on. In my defense, I did not want anything to happen, but it ended up happening because I let my guard down. I trusted too easily and wound up hurting somebody and their family. You trusted. I let my guard down. This is why I keep my guard up, even when I'm online. Okay, you say that. Because I trusted easily and wound up getting screwed trusted over. Trusted a child easily. A child who said that they were a child. A child that you knew was a child. They lied about their age online. I didn't mm -hmm. know until later that they lied. No, they didn't. Okay. Everyone's so in the screenshots, they didn't lie. So what about the video of the one the one 13 year old saying if asking you if it's okay to send them pictures and you said it's okay. And then you asked if you were they were gonna turn you in. I asked if they were because I knew that it was coming. That's all I know. So and that's all said, I know. You just said yes because preemptively I wanted I wanted them to know that I wanted to just retry my life, you know, take a different turn. I so don't think so people- getting pictures from a child is the turn you wanted to take? I wanted, I wanted to try to go clean for a while, so. How is that going? I, I wanted to, I wanted the police to show up. I wanted my life to change. I wanted something, but I wanted something that the cop was corrupt and that he stole all your stuff. That cop is crutch because he's putting more money into shit and he's letting it get personal. The thing about police is they're supposed to be unbiased, but this cop is taking things personally. That's the only downside to that. Okay, how personal? So you said that they, theoretically, you wanted the police to catch you, they took your stuff, so how is that personal when they're just going with the information that they're given, getting a warrant, and then doing what they do with the warrant and taking your stuff? I just wanted to prove that there was nothing on there in the first place. Except they've kept it for three months. It's more like five, but who cares? So they've kept it for five months. Why should I care? Because that means that there's something they're looking at. Jupiter, you ever play uh, Genshin Impact? Yes. You a fan of it? I'm a big fan of anime, so yes. I love anime. Anime is like my favorite thing in the world. Let me show you some of my toys. Oh my god, I've been waiting to do this. Oh my goodness, I love anime um, so much. Look at this. I love it so freaking much. Juniper, what's your favorite anime, bro? Uh, mostly I watch 
Blue Exorcist, which is Oh, good. that's a good one. That's a good one. That is good. It's one of the best anime. Also, I have uh, one that you're probably all familiar with. I have a game of it. By the way, I'll turn on my camera now that I, now that I have the light on. Heck yeah. Take but... it out. Naruto. Oh, it's a good one. I wish I had that one. I don't have that Naruto game. Yeah, it's Can my I ask you a question about we... Naruto Shippuden? Why do they call it Shippuden? It's like, sounds like there's like something. What do they call it I don't Shippuden? really know. I don't really know what that is all about. I don't. I don't know, know what that. I don't know what that means. It sounds like so much she's farting, and I got like these friends like Marshall Matthews and uh, this other weirdo guy that but if I get farted in the face and they get off on it. It's kind of weird, but yeah, you know, it sounds like they're saying she's pooting, and it's funny to me. Yeah, and I okay, also so have the. I also have my Devil May Cry five, four disc, which is good. The Devil May Cry anime was really good. I watched it. It was actually pretty good. Not gonna lie. Hands down, the greatest one. Ugh. Sorry, so, just getting up to finish. Quick question. Um, so, you, did the cops, did you hand your stuff over, or did the cops, like, take it? They took it, took it. They took everything but that I had. Didn't you say time. that you were trying to, like, prove that you were innocent by giving it to them just a second ago? Yeah, I I wanted them to take it, because I wanted... But you said they just, like, took it. They, like, took it by force. Yeah, I... Back then, I was drunk enough, and I challenged them to try it, and they did it anyway. So, let's leave so it at that. So then you you lied. You changed your story halfway through. Why? I dared them to take everything, but I was still wanting them to. Because, I don't know, I just wanted something to change. So you wanted them to take it, and now they've had it for five months, which means they found something. And they're looking at something. And that picture was never supposed to be circulated. But you send it inappropriately it to a minor. But it was private. Yeah, private, private. What happens in the house stays in the house. Exactly. What happens to the family stays in the family. Yeah, and by the way, back then I had a roommate who was keeping me up at night, so I was sleeping. Was this the same roommate that you assaulted? Like you got into a fight with them? I've been in many fights. Do you fight a lot? Do you, do you, uh, Mr. Shadow, Bur or Shadow Raven, do you fight a lot? I've been in a Who's lot of fights been? myself. Well, I fucked up just about anyone for looking at me wrong. No, but this was the roommate that, like, you got into a fight with and you touched him inappropriately on accident. No. I didn't... I didn't do that. Are you... Are you mad? I didn't mad do cow disease, that. right? He's mad. Mad cow disease. Are you mad? Angry cow. Are you Why mad? are you suddenly slipping into like an English dialect? We all do that sometimes. Yeah, we all swap into a the accent of our birth language when we're angry or nervous. Cow Ranger has bad cow disease. He is an angry cow right now, I do believe. So I do so. care for people like you who like to grill people like me. I do not have the taste for it. I just like honesty. Excuse, Excuse you. I'm a fuck mothering werepire. I have killed a lot of people to get this title. I deserve to be called such. Did you say you're yeah. a fuck mothering vampire? So, quick question. Is it true that you have like IR, like IRA agents or like CIA agents that like sit outside people's houses to like assassinate them? Let's just say I have a contact with the FBI. What makes you special, though? Special enough that they would do that for you and waste a lot of government tax dollars to specifically position a sniper at every single hater that you have's house and pay for not only them to stay That's there constantly, right. and not I only for their weapons and ammo and for their sights and for their training. What makes you so special? They would waste probably close to a few million dollars on that. Probably more. Excuse you. I was going to explain that to you. Go ahead and explain let's it then. Say, let's just say I have a few contacts who know some people. And these contacts are so high powered that they couldn't get you out of a group home into a nicer group home. And they couldn't, you know, pay for things like extra therapy or anything like that. Instead, they spend their money specifically to position snipers and like assault teams all over the country for your haters. I know some people. What makes you so special that they would do that? I know some people. I have some... What? No, but what makes you so special? 
Hell if I know. It's because you're not special and it's not true. I have a brother who works for the Nampa PD out here. Cool. And what makes him so special that he is able to control the government and get all of those tax dollars specifically to hire people that would take out regular American citizens just for calling you, you know, calling you out on your shit. What makes you so special that they would violate the First Amendment? Excuse you. Excuse you, actually. You know that what I'm saying is true. You are just so delusional that you don't know how to handle it. Jupiter, did you say that you have a brother that works for the police? Yes, I have a brother who works for the Idaho Police Department. What does he think about all your uh, things getting seen? He doesn't know a damn thing. He doesn't know a damn thing. And the less he knows, the better. What would... What would he think about um, you dating a 15-year-old? As I said, the less that brother knows, the better. So he let's, would just say, let's just say that brother hates me. It's awkward being around the guy. I wonder why. Hey, it's just a dastardly jerk hop. Yeah. My brother, Donnie, is a good person. But him and I have had a rocky past. So then why would he, once again, not only get into his contacts and then hire these people and convince them to hire these, like, assassins? He's my brother. He's only looking out for me. Okay, but That's why? If he doesn't like you. And if he knows all this is true, because this is the first one. my brother and he still loves me. There, I fucking said it. That's not anything special, though. Why would he go into this, especially because that would not only risk his job, but it would risk your life and your entire family, because then it could be like a government corruption case, which is a big deal and would put you away forever. Sorry. I'm not saying he's the one who did it. I have a feeling someone else is behind this. Cool, then who is so special in your family or your friend group that they would do that, once again, risking their entire career, families, and lives for you? And how would they be able to fund the amount of people and the amount of training and the amount of weapons and the amount of ammo it would cost to cover every single one of your haters? Let me explain something. Somebody... You can explain it, you're just not very good at it. Go ahead. Shut shut the fuck up and listen to me for a minute. Shut the fuck up and listen. Hey, now that's uncalled for. Hey, hey, hey. That is uncalled for, Mr. Wrangler. Go ahead and explain. Again, I will hang up and this interview will be over. Understood? Sure. Am I explain? Explain. Explain. Come on. Yeah. You're going to explain earlier. Watch your profanities now. I have been receiving text messages from a certain source that say they work for the FBI who have been sending me videos and links to certain people's video streaming to basically warn me against them. I don't know who this person is. I don't know why they're doing this, but I have a feeling that they want exactly what I want. My freedom and my, you know, existence to be free and nothing more. So could I ask you another question? If this contact is so high up, why haven't you gotten your stuff back? I don't know. I guess I haven't asked. Then ask. Because clearly there was something of interest, so why wouldn't they get you out of it then if they want to guarantee your freedom? Because that would risk their life and their money and their job and their families. But they have all, they've already, they're already risking all of that just by sending these mass amounts of highly trained snipers after your enemies. Let's just say I have TikTok friends. That's what I meant. But you just changed your story then. Uh, Mr. Shadowbird, is it is it TikTok or FBI? I'm I'm I need to know this for my own files here. I'm. Yes, I would also like to know for the papers' sake. I, I have 
spies on TikTok. Yes, I do have spies. People keeping me in the know. So okay. to speak. So theoretically, theoretically, they would have positioned someone outside of uh, my or Nick Nobody's houses right now, right? No, they wouldn't. They just, they keep me informed. They send me text messages letting me know what's going yeah, on. But you said that they, but they're the ones who have like the trained snipers and stuff. So why haven't you taken out someone like say Linda Binda? Because I choose to let her be free. So that way she can lead me back to her source material as well as lead me to anonymous. So I can end that motherfucker for good. You know that anonymous isn't like one person though, right? Mr. Pinnell here has Is that a lot of nicotine, Jupiter? It's uh, 6%, but yes. Gotta be careful with that stuff, man. I, I hear it can make you do some wild things. They will make you, they will make you rape sometimes. If you get too high on it, that's what I've heard. Nicotine addiction is a nasty thing. It can do a lot of things to you. Yeah. So, this is only 6%, though, which is good. So question, question, Corbin. You know how Faye are like mischievous, kind of cool, they're, they're like pranksters, they like to fuck with people, right? Mm hmm Do you think maybe that's what Anonymous is? Maybe, maybe not. Because it would also explain why they've been able to uh, to keep you at bay. I'm just... And hide from you. I already have the worldwide dragnet, because I believe the FBI is already onto them, and it's been... Because I got told that they captured one of their UK agents, and he ratted out his friends. And then uh, that got some of the American agents that got arrested too. Yes, that is a big accomplishment, Mister um, uh, Mister Corbin. Yes, I've I've learned I've learned a lot of tricks of the years, and yes, I used to run with a hacker crew back in high school, so I know I know the codes. You know, I know the hacker code. Never go after the innocent. Never harass their family because but you if did they go are after the innocent, you went after they did. kids. No, you went after kids. So why aren't you following that to this day? That code that you put together seems pretty Can solid. You? Can you just be quiet and just hear me out for once instead of just interrupting me? I didn't interrupt you. I was stating something. You were the one who interrupted me, but go ahead. I, I did some stupid things because I was stupid. I was young and dumb. I do stupid things because... I don't often think things through. Plus, you were trying to live a solitary existence, barely speaking a word to anybody except for over Xbox Live or over an email. You try isolating yourself. You try isolation. I was isolated for a long time. And somehow, we had a super chat don't... come in. I think there was a super chat that, that needed to be read. Should I read I that? Know, that? That was a, a troll. One of those a dang dirty troll. Probably from four cent garbage. It's fine. Don't don't bother them. <laughs> um, you try living an isolated life these days. I have to live isolated because people consider me a danger to society. Well, you did date a child. So, Why are so you considered a date to society? Solitary I live a solitary existence because that's the way I have been for many years. You try doing that and not getting lonely. No, explain why people think you're a, a threat to society. So do you think being lonely is an excuse for talking to children? I've been alone all these years, so maybe some part of me wanted some company or something. I've been alone for half my life. I am so, a social uh, outcast. Why do people think you're a threat to society? Because I'm a social fucking outcast. No, but you said that you're a social outcast because they think you're a threat to society. So why are you considered a threat to society? As I said, social outcasts. We're well, down. That, no, because you said that you're a social outcast before because they consider you a threat to society. So why are you considered a threat to society? No, please explain. I would love to hear. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. What does that mean? I think you know damn well what that means. 
No, you I'm... are considering that I am just like my brother. I can feel it in your fucking voice. I oh, am goodness. nothing like that piece of shit brother of mine. I am nothing like him. What did your brother do? Oh no, we uh, anonymous seems to have appeared in chat. It's not good. You anonymous scum! You should get out of here. I shouldn't have to tell you twice, but in the Stone Age. My brother Shane molested me and my little sister. Mostly me, because I did it to protect Kayla. And you I went to jail for that? That he was going to hurt my little sister. Yeah, you haven't explained a lot about your sister. What happened with her? Why did you two split? Kayla ran away from home. I got moved out, so. But didn't... Didn't you do similar stuff? That was a long time ago, and I was a fucking kid. A child. I was a fucking child. Yeah, I didn't uh, know any better. Okay? Drop it question. and leave it. Fuck. Could you put Alone. a shirt on? Do you have any shirts or is this a, a no shirt scenario? This is my own fucking sure. home. Exactly. Yeah, you okay can be shirtless if he wants to. Totally fine. Boots. Totally, totally fine. Totally fine. 100% fine. This is my house. Yeah, see, look, even his lawyer is shirtless. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I think we should. I think everyone here is shirtless right now. I am. Everyone is. Yes. I mean, your lawyer is shirtless. Yeah, I know. Okay. I, I do thank you for having me back, by the way, man. Thank you for that. But uh, that female who's been trying to grill me. You need to back the hell up. And I call mean, you came onto our podcast. Mr. Corbin, that's not a female. This is a female. This is a female right there. That is not a female that you're talking to. The writer, the cow writer. Dude, I've seen yeah, it. Their voice made my brain automatically go with that. So sorry if I've assumed. The Wrangler does indeed have a dangler. Okay, good. But you ever what do start you mean good? Dumbass, I will leave the. No, I wait, back, back up. What do you mean good? It's good. Yeah, it's good. Here. You, he might have been sending you here. some charge. We're all kind of good. That's why I said I'm sorry if I assumed, and that's good that I that I apologize. No, you said it was good after they said I have a dick. <laughs> why is that good? Yeah, I was like, Holy shit, that's good. That's good then. We're all guys here, so that's good. That's what I meant by that. We're all guys, so that's good. Yeah, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't like expect me to answer things that you know nothing about. You shouldn't. You shouldn't question me about things that happened in my very young past because I was a fucking kid. Get it through your skull. Well, well, Mr. I was a Corbin. kid, a dumbass. Jupiter, Jupiter, solidarity. Can we can we jiggle our titties together? Please, sir, as your as your legal defense, I want us to do this together with our with cup our nipples together like that. Can we do that? I'm doing it. I look stupid alone. Yeah. Can we do that together, sir? Dude, let's just stop with the inappropriate shit and just get down to business right now. But I will oh. forgive you. But should you yell at me and try to bring up my childhood past? That I, I did tried not do that, so, that me and my family have tried so desperately to bury, I will leave. Am I understood? Eh, sure. Good. But I do want you to know that you brought up a very good point about my sister and I. The reason why we split from Melba is because we didn't have anything left there for us. You know, we didn't have anything left. There's nothing left for us there. We, we just gave up. We left. Nothing left. Yeah. We have no we have nothing left to return to. I mean shit happens. Just telling you the truth, the shit happens. And to give you the honest truth, my sister and I, we're trying to repair our relationship with one another. 
It's going to take time, though. So, can I ask you another question? This one won't be as aggressive. I'm just kind of curious. Would you consider yourself a violent person? If somebody pisses me off enough, then yes, I will become violent. Do you have violent fantasies? No, but I do have violent tendencies. Tell I mean, us about them. Go ahead. I'll lash out. If I'm angry enough, I'll lash out and cause damage. Like magically, physically? Physically, emotionally, you know, all that stuff. And Yeah, I will cause a lot of emotional damage and whatnot. I'll do everything in my power to make someone's life a living hell. I do have violent tendencies. I do lash out from time to time. That's why I lashed out earlier when you brought up my past. From when I was a child, from my childhood. When you brought up my little sister and what she told you guys over, like, Facebook and whatnot. That was from my past. That was part of my past. That was part of who I was back then. Not who I am now. Do you have murder fantasies? I mean, who doesn't? I mean, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Who doesn't have them? I mean, I have to think about murdering my brother Shane when he gets out of prison. I've often thought about it. You know? Since since he's been the one to... He was the one who got his ass thrown in prison in the first place. I just want to murder him sometimes. But do I? No, because he's my brother. And I'll go to prison if I do. You've said before you've got places that you could hide bodies that nobody nobody would find. Yeah, Melba is my hometown. I know every inch of that place. I know all the ground. I know every inch. I know places to hide bodies no one would ever think to look. <laughs> but that's just me because I grew up out there, you know? Wait, I have a question. You said you have like your werewolf pack, the, uh, the Blood Moon Collective, right? Blood Moon Clan, yes. The Blood Moon Clan. Aren't they your friends? Don't you get out with them? Or Uh some of them are some of them are just most of the council members of the Blood Moon Clan are me and my siblings. And that's it, because we decided So you're not in the same area then? Well, my family's scattered all throughout Idaho, so So theoretically if another clan wanted to take over your territory, it actually wouldn't be that difficult because you're the only one there. No, no, no. I, my family would fight back for our territory. No, Trust but it would me. take them too much time. If someone came and did a hostile takeover, you wouldn't have time to react. Your family wouldn't. They would just take your land. Uh, no, 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 no. There's tons of people out here in Idaho who are part of the Blood Moon clan who wouldn't let and it Why happen. do they ostracize you? Why are you alone, then, if, you, if so many people are part of this clan and they know you're a good guy? I choose to be alone because, you know, you I'm the lone wolf. Ostracized. You said that the, like, the community I mean, pushed you out. I mean, I mean, out in Melba, I'm a social outcast because of the way I grew up and being a sheltered child and whatnot. I'm somewhat of a social outcast. Well, so theoretically, if I were to let some people who are werewolves know that, hey, this territory only has one person in it, and they claimed it, you wouldn't really be able to do much about it. Well, I could do something. I, it, but if, let's just say, if you did say that you wanted this person to claim as a refugee, then I'll let that refugee claim whatever territory they need. So theoretically, if someone, just just so happened, if someone just so happened to be claiming your territory right now, as we speak while you're on this interview, would you be able to do anything about it? Well, just as long as they let me know that, hey, this is my area. Do you mind if I have it? I'll be like, oh, takeover where they are claiming the entire Blood Moon territory. Who knows? I mean, my family fights back. My clan will fight back. If that just so happened to be happening right now, they were secretly members of the Blood Moon Collective, who, uh, the Blood Moon Clan, who were part of this secret werewolf organization that's claiming this land. I'd be able to do whatever it took because my area has a bound limit of magic, which means they try to take any other parts of the land. I can easily just use magic to eliminate their mental stability. So why are you doing anything about it right now? Let's just say I'm wiping memories of certain people. No, you're not. They're texting me right now. There's going to be pictures. They already have all the land claimed. 
let's just say they think they do. That's actually an illusion spell I cast to no. make it look like they wanted it. No, no, no. These guys are experts in this sort of thing. They've been planning this for months. They were just kind of waiting for you to get on, get on this call so they had a little time. Let's just say I cast a illusion spell right as I got on here. But they're aware of the illusion spell, so it wouldn't work. They wouldn't Double be. Spell. Exactly. I cast illusions to hide my true intent. If they yeah, think if that someone's aware of an illusion spell, spell illusion spells gonna work because then it's no enough. longer an illusion. If they look hard enough, they, they're gonna find themselves locked in Double. an illusion burner. But they're not. They're, they're texting pattern. me right now and telling me that they have uh, claimed this land. It's not your I land have anymore. territory, which means every family member there. There are other creatures in the group that have fought back. So no, they haven't. They're part of the. They're part of this. There's there's all sorts of things here now. It's it's our land now. That there's nothing you can do about it. That's, that's very sad. I'm I'm very sorry to hear that for you. It's okay. He's got a he's got a chaotic combo that's gonna fight for his land back. You see, I'm holding, I'm holding the world together by psychic force. So who's who's to say I wasn't so one of them? So how did you not sense that like we were doing this? Did you just? I knew. I just kept it quiet because I pulled the string to let the chaos unfold. You see, I've been I've been tampering with. The world as it is. I've been tampering with it. Oh, so you've been tampering with the world, but you haven't been able to get your devices back. Nor have you been able to reconnect with any of the people you wanted to, nor have you made it so that your family's closer together. Well, I choose to let things be as they are, but other you things... You go I'm... back in time to undo the trauma of your victims. Nope, because I don't have that ability. I have a psychic ability. Okay, which means I'm psychic what message, dreams. What so... message am I sending you right now? I, s I should tell you that I've blocked psychic communication with you. Why? Mm -hmm. Don't you want to prove it? Let's Go just ahead. say... What message am I sending you right now? It's very specific. It'd be very easy to, for you to tell. Psychospheric ability to read and control the psychosphere of the world. I created a small indentation within the infinite boundaries Meaning... Cool, that's not the question. Can you read the message I'm sending you right now? You're telling me... It feels different. No, I'm not. I said that your tits are a double H cup. Hey! That, that is uncalled for, sir. You know, try to keep it professional here, remember? Yeah, We're professionals, professionals. Not, not amateurs. Yeah, professionals. We have, a, we have a paper to write, and we gotta get it all over the place. Yeah, but you just proved that you don't have any psychic powers. <laughs> no, I was talking to one of the many out there that were telling me to go to hell. No, you, you didn't get the direct message. I'm sending you another direct message. What is it this time? I sent you one, actually. Tell me what I just sent you. All you sent me was a middle finger emoji. What am I sending you? I don't have to prove anything. But what am I sending <laughs> you right now? <laughs> Hmm. Don't worry about them. They're just some bad girls <laughs> that we have to send to Ban World. It's fine. Go I don't. Ahead. I think what did Cal I send Ranger. You? It's very. Simple. I think Cal Ranger is being being very aggressive trying to prove we have we have already proved in the beginning of this trial that my client knows this stuff about supernatural. He was able to declare that a mysterious and a dusk noir were the were ghost type Pokemon and a Pikachu yeah, dressed as a Gengar were was. not. You can just look that up. Go ahead. Maybe. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Jupiter. Not only do you have no psychic powers, you have no connections. The only thing that you have going for you right now is the fact that you're in housing. <laughs> you prey on children. You have a history of doing so. And every time that someone asked, you just try to deflect what it was in the past. It, it didn't happen. I was drunk. Cool. Even when someone drunk drives, they still get in trouble for it. If someone kills somebody when they're drunk, they still get in trouble for it. So why should you... Our very special boy, for some reason, 
who has billions of dollars set aside for his haters to be assassinated. Why are you special? Why would you be worth it for all of that government taxpayer money that would come from all the people across the United States? I have no business with the government. Cool, but you said but you said that they were the ones who are not only going after anonymous but also trying to like take I out never your said, haters. I never said anything. Yes, you, did. you said all of that stuff. It's been recorded. It's very well documented, in fact. I never said to my haters. I only said that there were that I had someone contacting me. Oh, you said that they're contacting you, but also at the same time, you said that you do have shooters out there. No, so, that was... Why are you lying about that? You can't read psychic messages. You can't read auras. You can't even get the basic That's elements wrong. Up. Not only that, you, know you don't even know about hey, the hey, hey, basics no. of different... Hey, 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 stop being mean to him, okay? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Calm down. This is my this friend. Is supposed, this is supposed to be professional. You said you'd be professional, but you were not being professional, Mr. Wrangler. Now, have you been lying about being professional or not? I usually am professional, just not with child predators. Oh, okay. Hey. Hang on now. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let us settle down. Excuse you. Everyone be careful. <laughs> Calm down. <clears throat> Everybody, I believe calm down. I have a very professional calm friend down. that would also that would also like to uh, ask Jupiter a question. I have no chance. Is that you? Is that, you? Is that, that. young Jup? Is that Corb? Corbin, you here, brother? Yes, he is here. Is that Shadow Raven. Corbin. This is. This is yes, crazy. I'm here. Dude, Corbin. Corbin, bro, I got a, I got a question. Big fan here, bro. Big fan of all the, the stuff you do. I think I don't know. Um, so I got a, I got a question here. Of course, go ahead. Oh, did we, we we still got him? Do we still got Smokey? Smokey, you still there, Mister Smokey? Mister MCC, Mister McQuack. Oh, we, we might have we lost my we lost my oh my god we might have lost him for a sec. Oh damn, Smokey's a big fan. If you ever call me a child predator again, if you ever do start You're that shit, one. I'm going to leave. You will get no more interviews from me. Am I understood? Eh. I believe and, uh, you to you, to you, Wrangler. Fuck you. That's not it. That's not it. Oh, uh, yeah. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? You, 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 your mic's a little rough there, bud. Ah, uh, really? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if my mic's fucked, then you're I good. You you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. good now, sir. Corbin, Corbin, bro. I heard you say once that you only talk to minors for show. Why were you just just talking to them for show, bro? Like, like as one of your fans, I'm trying to understand this. I did it to sh make people understand that I was actually trying to find friends, people who will understand what I'm going through, who will help me, you know, figure out what's going on in the world, you know? Because well, I needed a new perspective. I, I need friends. I, I. I have some online buddies of mine who were that way, but they, they were my off. online gaming buddies. They had me, they were playing games with me online. I just play a lot, you know? I play video games. I'm a gamer. But yeah, but I've heard you say before that, like, like, you know, you've talked to these people in a pretty explicit way. That one girl on TikTok that one time. like, So it's not like this is just something you played games with them with. You've talked to these minors pretty pretty explicitly. And I'm just wondering, again, as a fan, why you would do this, bro. Like, we love Shadow Raven. Like, we're just hoping this isn't true. Well, that was back during 2023. I'm not I'm not doing that shit anymore. I'm actually working heavily yeah. on... Yeah, as the owner of the, the Shadow Raven fan club, can I tell the people, yes, that did happen, but it's not happening anymore? Pretty much, yeah. All right, Jupiter, thank you for that, you fat pedophile fuck. Jesus. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, okay. Hey, oh, okay. No, oh, okay. Oh, oh, that, is, that is rude, sir. We kicked him. We kicked him. Good, good. Good. That we, was, yeah, we removed no, him. That is already troll. That to happen. 
Where no, the fuck good. did that come from? Like, what the fuck? Where did that come from? Oh, yeah, yeah I wonder where it know. came from. I don't that know. Was just some no good damn dirty trolling right there. Somebody should cut his internet down. Yeah. We removed him. I do apologize for my, for my outburst, but Wrangler, I swear to God, dude, no I more. I swear to God, shit. I thought you didn't believe in God. Let him speak. Just because I don't go to church does not mean I don't believe. God. So why are you swearing to him? Because he's the All Father. He's the Creator. He but created us. Currently pulling all the strings. Puppet well, technically, style. I am pulling strings, helping God. You know, playing, playing different games with different people because they all think I'm stupid or some sort of crazy ass. But, but Wrangler, I swear to God, you need to stop with your shit. I may have What's been. It? I may have been that way back then, but now Three I changed ago. my ways. And I've turned over and I've seen what I've done, and I'm doing things to fix myself. See, as you can see, our, our friend here, Mr. Corbin, is dead serious now. He is dead serious. I just want, I just want all this to just. How often be do you shower? In. I want my past to be buried. That's all I want. I want to bury the house. It, it was literally just three months ago. How yeah, often do you shower? You just you looked a little greasy. Do you realize you're saying like you were just a pedophile three months ago, but now you're reformed? But you've done nothing to change I've, that? I've done everything to change. Everything. I've like done what? anything and everything to change. Because I want What's best? I want to bury the hatchet and leave it there, you know? Okay, what, if I murdered somebody three months ago, would I still be a murderer now? Hey, yeah, what's going on with your lawyer? He looks fucked up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Dude, are you okay? You all right, buddy? Uh, must have been that psychic attack I sent earlier. Anyway. Oh, it was. It was. Bro, you okay? Everything okay with you? You okay? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Trying I sent him a psychic to, attack. Like it, you gotta psychically heal him, baby. I'm doing my best. Bro, are you okay? So, you okay, my dude? Three months ago, and just, you know, I heard a rumor about you that I, I wanted to ask. Uh, is it true that you weren't potty trained until you were 17? I'm not gonna answer that. So then you weren't. I heard you I'm neither were, confirming nor denying it because I heard that all you last... do is use it against me. So shut up, drop I it. I heard that and the last time your sister visited you, you were still wearing diapers. Hey, hey, now that's uncalled for. Holy shit. Thank you, Golden Doodle. Golden Doodle, you're so Golden generous. We Doodle. do love regular Thank around here. We just don't much, love dude. Jupiter. Incredibly generous. Incredibly, incredibly oh, generous. You're very oh, kind. God. Mr. Corbin, are you still there? Yeah, and I'm really tempted to leave. But so you can go shit your diaper and change it? $300? Hey, go, hey, no. go fuck yourself. Hold what on, the on, fuck is going on? What the fuck? I'm tired of being a fucking liar! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, the fucking floor. hold on, hold on. Everyone reel it back, reel it back. There's another, there's another fan, another fan, professional, this time I swear he's professional. He's got, he has just a question. Let's just reel it back. I, I'm just sure one my depression can't hurt. Take a deep breath, sir. Thank you for at least trying to keep this professional, but Wrangler, any more bad comments out your mouth and I will leave this. Okay, I will leave, and I will never go on something like this with you again. Oh, so it's just if I'm there. Because all you do is cause contention. I've asked plenty well, of good questions, you just made some very uncomfortable answers that you don't want to answer. Let's see who this individual is. Let's see who this individual is. Hello, sir. Welcome. 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 Let me have a professional interview. Yeah, very professional. Life literally is as valuable as a summer ant. 
I'm just gonna stop you. You're gonna keep coming back. I'm gonna seal up all my cracks. You're gonna keep coming back. Why? Cause you keep smelling the syrup, you worthless bitch ass nigga. You're gonna stay on my hey. dick until you die. Hey now, you that is on purpose in life. Sure. Your purpose in life is sucking on my dick. Hold on, I'm trying to I'm Your trying to get the remove button. Hold on. You get that remove button. He's using the psychic attack against you, Nick. Get it now! It's too late. Get it now! I'm trying, I'm trying. Get this don't get a drill out of somebody else a piece of that oxygen in an ozone layer. Okay, I got it. I got it. We got him. We got him. It's okay. We got we cut down his internet as well. Yeah, well. I knew that was gonna happen eventually. Someone's gonna do something stupid. And by the way, that was a lot of child predators. Shut up, Wrangler. Shut Why? the fuck up. It's my podcast. You're just a guest on it. It's our podcast. You have no right to actually call me that. I just, I asked, I didn't even refer to you. Why are you putting that label on yourself? I asked, do you think that God loves child predators? God loves everybody. Really? I don't think that's quite true. Mr. Cal yes. Ranger, I'm trying to defend this pedophile. And you are ruining my case, Mr. Cal Ranger. This is my case. I've never won a case. I had Earl Doobie. I had the Cyraz and the, and, the, and the Tips TV. I had like some, some crazy lady named Kerr. I had all these clients, and I've never won a case, Mr. Ranger. Why do you keep... Why do you keep destroying my... Every time I try to do a case. Why do I keep losing to you? Spooky. Calm down, because my I friend. Because I prepare better than you. Your <laughs> psychic attack. Go Spooky. back to sleep, you fucker. Spooky. Calm down, my friend. They're just trying to mess with you. Don't oh, let no. them get to you, okay, buddy? The lawyer is down. What will we do now? Just calm down. Take a break. Take a breath. Come back when you're... Your jets. I need a minute. I need a minute. I can't. And I can't. You can piss off. Not. You can go to hell for all I care. You and yeah. I can walk in hand in hand, my brother, for hell welcomes many people like you. Mm-hmm. Keep telling yourself that. Well, to be fair, you've God actually broken a lot of the rules I've of repented. the Bible. You're practicing magic. Have you repented I'm back. recently? I'm back. I'm I'm better. I'm better. Thank you. So do you think if you you negative you you damage a child, if you repent, it's all good? Repentance is key in this world. Yes, we all have our sins. So sexting a minor, you can just say Hail Mary and then you're all good? I pray. I pray every night to try you and pray not to be a pedophile. I pray to God to forgive me. To I pray to the family about me. I pray to families out there for forgiveness. I pray only for forgiveness and for knowledge and for guidance. You will not be forgiven. You've hurt many of God's children. I'm sure that he's not a fan of letting you into heaven where you'll just do it again. Go God yourself, will forgive baby. you. He does not love you. He has turned his gaze from you. Why do you think that these things have been happening to you? Go to hell, Wrangler. I don't need to hear this from you. But you did. God uh, never turns his face from any of his children. For you, I think he would make quite the exception. Hey. Now, now then. For the Lord knows our sins, and how many times has he forgiven us? It's like the drops in the ocean. Well, you see, buddy, when you keep committing it over and over again, I don't think he'd want you in heaven where there's a bunch of children. You know, I will be reunited with my mother when I die. Why, did she go to hell too? <laughs> God has forgiven us. He has more. What does your mother have to do with you? Than the drops in the her. ocean. I think he'd make an exception for someone that so consistently hurts his other creations and takes such joy in it. I don't take because joy in it. Because if you were to go anything. into heaven, you would just hurt more people. You'd be a much better fit for hell. Jupiter, God forgives for more than the drops in the ocean. Jupiter, 
Not you, do, buddy. Not do you me. think your mother would be happy with you sexting children? Go to hell, you two. I don't need to hear this from you. Yippee! Exactly. <clears throat> yeah. Go to hell, guys. Go to hell. Oh, no! Who just entered that chat? It's God. It's God himself. Oh, no. For I am here to speak and say, Jupiter... You are hella banned from heaven. Get that ass banned. Bye. You are a pedophile. Fuck. <laughs> no sentence is more. You guys are mean. You guys are really mean. You got you, you know you supporters of him better better scram before we get you too. You guys oh. are mean. I'm just you a reporter. I'm, yeah, get, get out of here. I, scram. scram. I'm just a reporter. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful, dude. That was beautiful. I want you to store, Nick, I sent you a DM asking for permission. Oh, but, what was that? Oh, damn, I, sorry. I, I didn't see it. permission to play the song and yell, but, you know, it, it, it is whatever. It is Shit, whatever. I didn't see it. Damn, oh my god. Well, I mean, that went way, way, way better than I thought it was going to go, huh? It was so hard to keep back, dude. It was so hard. I literally felt like I was going to start foaming at the mouth in just pure fury. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, also, Golden Doodle, everybody tonight here, I just want to address a, a handful of people just because it was hard to read supers. Golden Doodle for the 300, bro. Thank you so fucking much. Oh my god, bro. Thank you. Holy shit. Holy I'm... shit, dude. That's fucking insane. I appreciate the fuck out of you. That was so incredibly kind of you. God <laughs> damn. You're generous. Dude, yeah. Golden Doodle's a goat, for sure. God damn. Uh, we had a, a whole uh, consult. Nick, watch your Eight mouth. Two. God is right there. You I know. say I that know. word where he's there. <laughs> I can't believe that went we like were to that commandment because it was a little too hard. God, God, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, I cannot believe that. Even the first like 25 minutes talking ghost shit with him, it was perfect. It was perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Des. Great work, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel like physically tired. All I did was yell at a retard. <laughs> I well, watched the Super Bowl, so I was yelling, but for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that's quite the night for Jupiter. That's quite the night for Jupiter. I wonder if we can convince him to go on too high for stupid. <laughs> Anything really possible. Wonderful. I, uh, Smokey, Smokey's on there. He might be a little reluctant. They're they're gonna have to they're gonna have to work on him. Those those. Darn, dang, dirty trolls that are helping him. <laughs> the I'm Red so Rock Clan or whatever it was. The Moon Clan. The Red Moon? Dude, oh god. I don't have to go and chop all this up for video. Oh my god. <laughs> that was wild. I'm sorry to let you talk too much. I just There was so much I wanted to say. No, I, I played it perfect. It was, it was perfect. That was great. That was great. Spooky, you were killing me, bro. You were killing me when you, like, pulled the hammer out and the fucking flamingo. Dude. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. I think I need some air and go break the fucking window. Yeah, sorry about, sorry about yeah, the psychic yeah. attack, by the way. Uh, it, it just had to, it had to happen. I had to, I had to fix you. <laughs> like, message him, like, dude, just go limp for a second. It'd be really funny and stupid. Yeah, I, I'm gonna dude, hit him I up. Leave. I'm going to hit up after this if he'll come on Spookies and talk to Tibbs tonight. Uh, if Tibbs even comes on, I don't fucking know. Y'all did great, man. Much love. I appreciate it, man. I, I had fun. Of course. That was so fun. Yeah, that was great. I, honestly, I think he, Spooky, he's not smart. I really do think fucking you'd just be like, I can't believe that happened. You know what I mean? You can come on and just talk to me and rant and rant about your problems if you want. <laughs> and he'll go for it. Uh, he's... he's who is this guy? Who is this troll? Fucking I'm... troll here! Oh, Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody! What's up? I... <laughs> oh man, what happened? Don't worry about it. 
I think I <laughs> what happened? Know. Oh, I don't know, Mac. Good to see you. How was your night? Did you catch the stream? Did you, oh, catch, did you watch the Super Bowl? <laughs> no, I didn't watch either. I went to take a nap. A very nice, lovely nap. Uh -huh. It was so good. <laughs> so good. Ah. Mm. That was... <laughs> Dude, that giant shout out to Smokey too. That was oh, fucking that was crazy. crazy. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was oh, man. I feel I feel a little bad about saying his mom might be in hell. <laughs> Dude, I asked if his mother thought it was okay if he sexed the children. I was <laughs> gonna say that uh, his mom was in heaven and he'd never see her. Hi, oh yeah. He oh. Say that. No, right, I was I was in chat. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we, I, I saw you. I I saw some yeah. interesting things happening in chat. <laughs> I, I was in, I was in the chat. I just wanted to come by and say hi to my friends. We're we're glad to have you. I <sighs> I am so glad to be a part of this. Ah. Uh, um, so many donations. I'm I'm trying to go through. God's eating pasta in Jupiter's hood, and it tastes like heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jupiter, Nate, Dog, and White Bus are predator, are presidents. Man. Oh my God, Jupiter. predators. Often. Oh. I was thinking about Jupiter saying he wanted to be the president. I hope his. Uh, I hope he's. He's enjoying his eviction from his territory now that uh, the oh, wrangler, man. the wrangler clown of a uh, werecows have uh, taken his territory. It's too Yo, late for him. Keep a note too. Earlier, I it's just hard to like press him sometimes when like it's like everything sensitive. Um, he said the only reason he likes he like changed was because he didn't want to like lose his housing and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, By the changing because I don't want to lose my SSI. Yep, yeah. Wrangler, Wrangler, I appreciate you stepping up for me there. Uh, whenever he was talking about wishing people would go homeless, especially with the situation I'm in, I appreciate the sentiment of you attacking him on that. Uh, thank you. I just want to say that. Meant a lot I to can't me. Have, I can't have with my that's, that's oh, all sorry, it is. sorry. Mm. Wrangler, you're a trooper. I genuinely was holding back at saying stuff in a super, uh, because was Jupiter was genuinely <laughs> triggering my PTSD in my own past. Stupid ass Jupiter. Yeah, dude, I was biting my tongue a lot of the times there. Yeah, no, I, mm. I appreciate that you you, that you appreciate me. I just get my it, feelings out. I, I that that last bit was great. It was so good. It was so good. The low tier god female. The low tier god me. shit. You coming in as God himself. It was awesome. That was amazing. King Bobby with the five gifted. Thank you, brother. Appreciate the fuck out of you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, bro. Every time like I get road rage, I just make myself feel better by quoting LTG. It helps like a lot <laughs> more than you would think. Yeah, you're a legend for not bursting out laughing. I heard it almost come out several times. Yeah, there was a couple times where I was, I was, my lips were. <laughs> come on, this was a super serious interview, and we're very super, professional people. Super, yeah, that's super serious. Yeah, and, uh, um, yeah, super, super serious, man. Super serious. Not so fun fact. It's theorized that based on hell being described as both a darkness and an inferno, that it's literally nothing. The hell is infinite annihilation from God. <laughs> Enjoy it, Jupiter. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Rat King. Always a goat. Jupiter ran from God. <laughs> By the way, thank you, God, for making New Jack the Grim Reaper. Charlie, chill, your next boy. <laughs> that was legendary. Y'all are goats. <laughs> oh, yeah, they are. They are the goats. This was great. This was he did great. run from God. He did run from God. <laughs> Corbin Pinnell never saw it coming. <laughs> no, he never didn't saw it coming. No, he That's didn't. That's a surprise. But God, like, literally, he turned from God. The man, like the pedophile he freaking ran. fucker, he turned from God. He ran Literally. from our Lord and Savior. I know, right? You can't even <laughs> look me in the eye like shit. Yeah, no, nah, man. He really, he, uh, like I said, he, he turned came, his gaze. He came to the Holy Throne and ran backwards into hell. <laughs> Bro, he was never getting out of hell. This was like God peeking in like he peeked into the crib of a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> he careered back, back to the pit. <laughs> God peeking into the hell cells. Thank you, man. Hey, thank, thank you. you. I'm missing thank Donoster you. too. Sorry, I was DMing Smokey something. <laughs> oh man. That was thank wild. you for the five, Stingy. Uh, sharp metal edge with the five. Yeah. Jupiter will be seeing his mom soon, but he'll be seeing Crispin. <laughs> oh, Jupiter. Will oh, that will not be seeing his mom soon, but we'll be seeing uh, Chris Benoit. God. Yeah. Oh. Who is it? Who are you? I think it's Juno. Oh. Hey, Juno. Hi. 
What is up? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. You good, man? Yeah. <laughs> that Wait, was quite the night, huh? Yeah, that was crazy. I'm just going through uh, some more here. <laughs> Bro, I was so hyped when I looked, like, I was just scrolling my timeline or wall or whatever on YouTube front page, and I <laughs> Nick Nobody streaming <laughs> Jupiter oh, off. And I'm like, oh, no, there you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty wild fucking night here. I'm telling uh, you, he, you might be seeing more of him. He might be doing a podcast circuit here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. Hey, uh, Zippy would like to join us since he uh, we had to put the muzzle on him for this. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, <all> right, yeah. <laughs> I love Zippy, but it it would have just it it would have gone downhill very fast. <laughs> we had to wait it for him to push the boulder down himself. Oh god. Yeah, we did that very well. Listen, I, I know I know in the beginning it was kind of grating to have like a like a normal conversation with him. Um but it all worked out very well. Ask him about his paranormal service. I'd be cordial with him once, so I had the most fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was good. There's Zippy. I'm hey, jealous of Club Doom. I wanted to be the one to run them off. <laughs> I, run them off. I think he'd stay. I thought he was gonna stay for a bit longer. I, I wanted to try to hop on and be like I am anonymous or some stupid bullshit. Change my profile picture. Be the guy Fox man. <laughs> next time, next time we can do like a, we can do a Dragon Ball fusion. We can be God anonymous. God, God anonymous. anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> It will be a next time, I hope. Oh, definitely, I hope. I hope there will be a next time. That will... Oh my god, that was Nick Wrangler. Y'all have the patience of absolute saints. And <laughs> when Thank he... You. The multiple, multiple times he misgendered you, Wrangler, I wanted to strangle him. <laughs> oh, that was so really funny. funny. Hearing him, Good. Hearing him hit me with the that female, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Damn. Uh, it, Nick, let's smoke us. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I got you. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I'm, having a, I'm having you're a snack a... after the work, after this, because... 30 from stress. Thank you, brother. Not since uh, Bathtub Ross has one person confessed to so much in so little time. <laughs> Have you ever met someone called Spencer Jupiter? Enjoy the super, uh, some Super Bowl Gamba profits. Oh, good. Uh, nice, dude. Let's... Nice. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Got a couple more big ones here that I wanted to read off from people. As someone who's a loner for 10 plus years, been embarrassing, almost law cow level social outcast myself with autism as well. I had to truly learn how to grow up and realize what's right and wrong. But here, but this year ain't it. Yeah, whatever fucking Jupiter was spewing fucking. Jesus Christ. As Jesus Christ. Stupid. I'm going to say this now. Um, as a guy who has been an actual social outcast, that may, yeah. made me want to strangle him. <sighs> fucking <man. laughs> I, I, I've. I'm a, I've been an isolated little fuck. I haven't done any of that shit. Yeah, that and one is. I was drunk. I was, it was like 2019, and I've never once talked to a minor. Yeah, nah. <laughs> the crazy shit, like, too, is like, that's the old me. That was last year. It's like, bro, that, that was, was two months, months ago. Yeah. Two, two all, months all, ago. All, so all of the, the McCoy, the, the fuck you, the, uh, the, the one, uh, uh, reporters sarcasm or it was just like oh yeah uh, the, uh, don't worry it was just it's the old him six to two months ago but it was to be on the old <laughs> oh. uh-huh uh, i've been single lonely since 2010 and i've never went after children loneliness is not an excuse there is always a way to find an adult partner whether long term or for one night stand leave children alone yeah Back. point blank Back. dude when he was just like i don't know i just see fuck around find out I go, you sick fuck. Fuck was off. making all that shit because I, I had to keep the storm in, man. And I, I wanted to fucking yell at this piece of shit fucking Batman. I couldn't. I was a defensive player, and I had to be a fucking muzzled little bitch. And so I was just breaking shit. He is a piece of shit. He is the worst piece of shit. God. Yeah. If I guys. I have going. a big gun. I took it from the Lord. Also, Juniper needs to lay off the cheese pizza while looking like Pat back on meth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Dude, awesome. when he was laying back on his on his uh, bed, just oh my god, my god. god. I 
Uh, when I oh, said, no, take you off know what your Nick shirt and me? cat. You guys wanna know what Nick messaged me when he got <laughs> laying down on his stomach position? He sends to me, the werewolf wants his back blown out. <laughs> I... There's a clip, there's a frame where he's in doggy position, I promise. Literally, I, I would... <laughs> if, if, uh... If there was a... a... I was really tempted to, but I need to conserve money. Uh, when uh, the werewolf pack uh, taking no, territory good. taken thing was going on, we're still online, I wanted but, to super uh, chat. Over. What's that, up? I, I wanted to super chat that uh, uh, Cam did Gerard Davis is taking territory. He is a stronger werewolf vampire pedophile because he is black. <laughs> Dude, zip! I like I like that. Uh... He had an answer for the Camden Gerard Davis too. That was totally wrong. Oh my God. I love how he just made up a cult. That's he just like cult. out the top of his head. Yeah, that's the Black Moon occult. <laughs> it's just the Black House. He's like, it's just the Black House, and it's like, oh, okay. My God. Much love oh to Rango and Nick and my brother Spooky. Thank you, Yap News. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Two from Robert too. Which I'm pretty looks like a slug, <laughs> like the hey, slug. Yo, I have a lot of. I have him on uh, this uh, on fucking Instagram right now, telling him how rude y'all were. By the way, <laughs> call me a slut. Do it. Do I it. Knew it. Oh, oh, five man. from Stay Hydrated. God, it's me, Walter. Your Halo Five <laughs> days are shit. Oh my God, that yeah. reminds me. Uh, 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 Ranger. Like, hey. Why would they meet oh, me sorry. like that? Why, why oh my God. That? Oh my God. R it's Wrangler really saying to call him a slur reminded me of an old Bowser troll up that we did that made me as like call Wrangler crying because I uh, called him slurs and I was just like I'm sorry buddy <laughs> I know how you feel <laughs> 20 from the Rat King thank you uh, Matthew 1236 but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account their Thereof in the day of judgment. God, why is religious text so lame? 37. For by the know. words thou shalt be justified, and be thy words thou shalt be condemned. Too many thou's. But yes. Careful now. You're talking about my religion now. Lame. Well, I think sense. religious get text few, is... Uh, get a few beers in the neck, it'll start preaching. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. That actually happened. <laughs> Look, uh, uh, Nick, you're just reading the religious text wrong. If you get either really high or really drunk and then play, uh, uh, like, symphony metal behind it, it gets it makes sense. Or you can um, uh, come over here on the, the circus where I get drunk and start giving out a Baptist revival. It's been a while. You know, where I'll get so drunk I pass out and then he becomes a pastor. Yeah, it happened before. It's been a while. It's been a while. Just hit a fat bong <laughs> and blast some serotonin while reading it. You'll get it. You'll get yeah, it. you will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am fucking ripped, so reading the religious text was not easy. I'll tell you yeah. what. Holy shit. Oh, man. Oh, man. H cups. Yeah, Wrangler, the H cups comment was fucking ridiculous, brother. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna have to. Look, I'm gonna have to. I wanted to send him a mental image that he should put a bra on, but he wasn't listening, so I had to tell him about his H cups. That's, that's so, look, I'm gonna have to, H for hanging. Oh, you're I'm totally good to I'm just you there. They, they ain't H cups. Those those boys were fucking F cups. Motherfucker with dangling on the ground. Jokes on dick back in like South Park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they're bigger than naked and laughing. Cobras could play them with them, dude. I don't know, Ju dude. That was fucking wild. Jupiter's fucking crazier than naked and laughing. <laughs> them Johns look like punching bags. <laughs> <laughs> Bro has two speed bags hanging. Yeah, dude, I swear, you could practice your Muay Thai kicks on. <laughs> it, it's impressive. He's not as fat as Boogie. Or wings, but his tits are bigger than both boogies and wings. It's, it's yeah. because he has to feed his pack. 50% muscle, by the way. It's fat. His fat distribution muscle. is so weird. He looks like fucking potato. <laughs> <laughs> when he was... Oh, go, go, go. sorry. You're good. You're good. I was just reading the donut. You're good. No, you read the donut. That has money involved with it. <laughs> 
I was loading two bulls during the stream. Y'all had me laughing so much, I was hacking my lungs out. Much love. Yes, thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> danke, danke. And two from trash. Jupiter wears uh, K cup wa and Wowza loves it. <laughs> yeah, fifty percent muscle, thirty percent fat. I'm really questioning that was the other percentages. It's milk. It's milk. Like I said, he's feeding his pack. He nurtures them. He hand nurtures them into strong warriors. The fuck? He's got to be crying <laughs> after this. I swear to God. <laughs> the, 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 uh, in the last bit, before he turned off his camera, but he was just itching himself. I swear to God, it was like watching an orangutan. He has what? the same body proportions <laughs> of an orangutan. He just does like, his tits, and then he has like the long, spangly arm. <laughs> when he turned his camera on, I almost like stood up out of my chair. I was so excited. I'm I, really I knew he was going to do it without his shirt. I was. I was. I'm not afraid to admit it. That's a Do highlight. You think he owns a shirt. No. 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 He he owns clothes. He owns like a jacket. You know <laughs> that. Probably so can't. maybe a shirt. You slander his troll. I'm gonna come back and have a podcast. <laughs> me and Juniper together. Slander <laughs> trolls. I just got off the horn with him. And we're gonna we're gonna blow your podcast out of the water, Cal Ranger. You hear me, Cal Ranger? Ranger. Oh my God, Rangers! Hell yeah! yeah. I, I want him on the <laughs> surface. <laughs> Cal Ranger coming? Mighty Morphin Cal Rangers. Can I be the blue one? Than... <laughs> yeah, no, you're the, the blue one. Because you're I'm the blue one. Fucking color you want, baby. Be... Fine. Can I'm I green. Be... Screw off. No, wait. No, I'm, I'm green. Be the green one. Green's my favorite no. color. No, screw you all. I'm green. I'm the one with no, the I'm green, green profile pick. I'm green. Why are y'all fighting wait. over the one that killed himself? Come on, man. Like this. I, it's I, not I we have, like, wait, 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 wait. Wouldn't we just have the patterns of like cows? Well, I'm white ranger, ranger then, so I can yell white ranger. So I can yell white. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, dead ass. The the cow rangers just look like the ninjas from Ultimate Mortal Kombat three. <laughs> it works. With that just... said, I call being smoke the gray. <coughs> Is it gray ranger? I call being reptile. Oh, I dig uh, it. I guess I, I, did, I, did I call first. being any uh, of them but Cyrax. Well, I guess I'll be Cyrax. <laughs> cyborg ninjas. Well, you be... Well, no, the cyborg ninjas count. They're they're they are from the. Uh, they were doing the original I lore. They're from the. Uh, I'm happy with this. Uh. You can be Setor, the red robot ninja. I'm just... <laughs> that was Look, so stupid! <laughs> the Mortal Kombat game I got into was Mortal Kombat Armageddon, and that's forever going to be my favorite and go to Mortal Kombat, because my favorite character, Meat, is in it. Oh, yeah. He's the only one that does pro wrestling. MK also got Meat in it. MK Gold. Yeah, yeah. Does it? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Meat, he's very secret, but you can find him. Oh yeah, I unlocked me on accident on Armageddon, and he became my favorite character because he's the only one that does wrestling. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. God, I cannot believe, cannot believe that. One I, I can't believe all of that happened. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. <I'm laughs> Shock from Steve. yeah, yeah. Fucking a round of applause for G there with for, for this. Yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you, G. Cultivating, Thank you, G. growing. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yes, I do, bro. It's just, it's just the cow wrangler on YouTube. Are you? Yeah. Oh, I, actually, I didn't put anything in the description tonight. Oh, I just put Jupiter. The light. I very vague description. I usually put your channel in the description. Here, I got it. If you oh, like, okay. if you like more of Wrangler and you want more of me and Zippity, we have our own thing on the cow wrangler channel as well as on the circus. Where everybody randomly will jump in and it's fun. Yeah, do give me one sec here. I say slurs. He says slurs. I get drunk and give shit. I say slurs. <laughs> <laughs> Go subscribe to Cow Wrangler now, 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 now. <laughs> oh, it gets my heart. <laughs> You're too sweet, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Yes, for real. Go subscribe to Crow the Cow Ringer. His streams are top notch. Yeah. They're subpar at best, but we do cover a lot of fun stuff. 
It's a lot of fun, and you can find me, you can find Wrangler, you can find Zippy, you can find a lot of people on there. Club Fried Doom Deuce, comes here. You know that? Club Doom shows up occasionally. We got Biff. We had Addendum at one point. He's great. Oh, was there? Nice. Yeah, he was I'm there. I'm always scared to invite him because he makes really super quality content, and he just seems really cool. So I always He's feel really cool awkward dude. inviting him. So it's like, you want to come to my subpar crack house and hang out? You wanna, you want him to be the first guest on the podcast? We can do it next Friday or that... next Thursday. Uh, I think I'm gonna be. We're talking about next week, right? Not this yeah. one. Okay. Yeah, the next week. Cool. Yeah, go, go sub. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And subscribe to Nick if you're not subscribed to Nick. Yeah, subscribe to Nick too. He makes good if, stuff. If you in chat and you ain't subscribed to Nick yet, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing with your life, man? <sighs> subscribe to Nick. Go outside. Listen to his stuff while you jog or work out. It's great. I listen to him while I'm at work on I YouTube. Think, I listen to him while I'm writing. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Play Doc while at the gym. It was the best really? day ever. That's funny. I, I got a little I, I was very soon. Yeah. Oh, good old uh, Josh. A little um a uh, a little bit of an update on Evan Joestar of all people. He is still commenting on that damn video you made of him. Is he? Oh I knew God, he, he is. is. He's hey. still commenting there. It's been like a month. I am compiling a bunch of so I uh I am compiling all of his comments uh that he's been making <laughs> and uh also some other background information. I got in touch with uh a guy whose uh, wife he was hitting on and got <laughs> screenshots of that conversation and I'm putting it all together in a video. <laughs> when is that gonna be out soon? Uh oh god hopefully here within the next week or so i just with new job and wife coming at me and all that i've had to uh prioritize the uh, surviving <laughs> real life comes first and if you want to see that um go check out zippy's channel it's your friend zippy he's a great guy he does all kinds of streams we do all kinds of streams next. going to zippy next yeah he's hey, great no, you don't have to show my channel for you do What's up? There's a comment for you. Oh, the the five Whoop. by uh, Skywalker OG showed my dad the life you lead by Club Doom, and he shit himself. He loved it. Hell, <laughs> I always like when people like the music. Yeah. I, too bad I'm about a little bit worried that you're putting it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, if, for anyone who ever want to hear some of my uh, music, because, you know, I, I'm, I'm basically a rapper who... Uh, tries to trick people into listening to my mixtape by making lol cow content on the side if you ever want to hear my shit it's on spotify club doom uh on youtube club doom um apple music for some reason keenan corella it, you can't find club doom on apple music you have to find my old rap name <laughs> for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah. interesting I, I will have a one bit of criticism of though, Club Doom. I'm a little bit worried about his dad shitting himself. Why are you putting the brown note in your music? That seems like yeah. a, a lawsuit has it. Yeah, man, it's what, just what's up his with that? father is weak. A strong man <laughs> do not succumb to it. <laughs> Don't succumb to the brown note. He's, sorry, I, I, I put a disclaimer. I'm going to put a disclaimer on the physical copies that you have to have a, a trained Shrektum. In order to listen. <laughs> <laughs> I think Zippity's is the best trained of us all, so I wouldn't worry about him. God, when are we gonna play uh, KOF together, man? Oh when the God. fuck are we doing that? As as soon as possible, bro. I got I got KOF fifteen. I got KOF two thousand two unlimited match. I got Tekken eight. I love me my fighting games. I wish I got Tekken eight. I didn't get it, but uh, man, we'll play fifteen because I still got that on PS five. So. I'm run, I suck at it, but yeah, I still want to play, man. Man, all y'all playing these fighting games, and I'm over here playing Death Stranding. I Sad. You're playing Coral Island. Death Stranding's based there. Oh, what Coral Island? That's a game. <laughs> no, Coral Island. It's a, it's a little farming oh, okay. game. It's it's pretty. It's all right. It's still an early. Danny process. knows about it apparently. So. God, this was great. Oh. Yeah, what a night. Yeah, so, <laughs> holy. So you tired. can have. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 
Thank you, Des. Subscribe to everyone here. All your ramen noodles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, you right, right. That you're gonna end up with the H cups. I mean, the only thing I've done is um, I've posted the recent Daniel Larson um, uh, arrest footage, but that's about it. Whew. All right, boys. I need to get some sleep. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I need to get a cig I need to get a cigarette because, uh, by God. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude. Thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight. Yes. Um, the stream yeah. is gonna go down like immediately, and it's gonna go right to my archive channel. If you don't, if you don't uh, know my archive channel, it'll be there like in 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, go there. It's here. I put it in chat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I got. I gotta put an outro screen so we can talk for like 30 seconds, but. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, God out. bless, Nick. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this well. is amazing. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Freedom's wall work, found it on, but with it, concrete, chaos, it falls, warlords, tyrants, dictators, czars, throne rooms, sculpted out of gore, bodies piled up as innocents are slain. If they're free to kill, the beast is free to prey Upon the animals of the supposed food chain From the sea he came out to make his claim It's your fault, so don't cry When the monster gone, did you It's finest, when the finest just right out of reach He's wrecking the scene, and under his toe He feels something crawling up under his feet He's pulled underneath, waiting and cried out him But somehow he's able to breathe The beast, the man of all his eyes That's what they call the hits At the dead of night, with no finger strike But he know he will protest Cause when gangs spray all the hostages And they paint the floor red If they cross air, see the crucifix Of a god with another head Now they're dead! It's your fault, so don't you cry when the monster comes. Eat you alive, fear the dark, do the crimes. You won't get a chance to walk into.